hey there, it's a Hello. race between Carl and James. Carl, is it going to be Carl or James? I guess it's Carl since I'm talking to you right now. How's it going? You've been washed away over there? Washed away? Why would I be washed away? St. Louis, is, you're not having any rain, huh? Uh, Not today. Not yesterday. Hmm. What a nice picture that is of Jane. She just got her head tilted just a slightly to the side. <laughs> <laughs> I would have taken a picture just like that of you, Jane, except not that passporty kind of picture you have right there. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> what the heck is that? What is that? That is a throne of swords. Game of Thrones. Oh Lord. Oh God. Oh Lord. I am. I am the winner of the Game of Thrones. Oh dear. <laughs> no, you wouldn't have. It had means that somebody nice will be assassinating her shortly. <laughs> Somebody said, come on and go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the downside of winning this game, huh? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I didn't read it or watch the movies. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one person who didn't. I tried, but my God, I couldn't even get through the first book. Was <laughs> Oh, I haven't read it. No, watch the show. Yeah. There's yeah. Mark. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hello. How's everything? They just open it says only a few people here it looks so soon we haven't blown away yet <laughs> okay, he's in sacramento so you've got rain up there too uh not much rain today but we had tremendous winds the last several days um look what i found <laughs> would anybody like hey. a mouse like a cat toy to me it's a cat toy catnip. it's catnip <laughs> mark do you think you can close this huh I'm using the powers of my mind to close my door. Part of the way. I don't know what a part of the way. Yeah, it's been it's been a little bit wet here, but today it was uh not so bad. Mm -hmm. oh. We've been I've been praying for um Peggy to be able to join us tonight. Her power's been out almost all day. And I've been sending her pr I've been telling her I've been praying all day. I think we're all gonna have to have a group prayer to see if we it should, works. We should have a prayer circle. <laughs> I think we should. We I should we like hold, hold hands here and we all hold hands. How do you hold hands on the screen? See, the think? great thing about prayer is you can tell people you prayed and you don't actually pray, and it doesn't, there's no difference. <laughs> yeah. We should send her our thoughts. Do it. We should send it's her our thoughts. Tell people thoughts. You did. Okay. Our thoughts and our prayers. Yeah. Double up. Double up. <laughs> Isn't that kind of redundant though? If you're praying, aren't you putting some thought into the prayer? Well, some of those people I've seen, they just it's like free free association. I don't think they have any. I think it's just like blah. It just comes out. Here comes Kyle. Hi, Jim. Hello. Um, it's cold behind you. Is that is that your is that your backyard? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in Canada. Hi, Kyle. Yeah. Did you guys yeah. get the weather down there too, Kyle? A little rain, but I can't complain compared to the rest of the country. Oh, I know. Yeah. I can. Um, <laughs> what's going on by you, Wendy? <laughs> um, I still have to walk that little dog three times a day. And I it's just in he you know he's he he hates the summer the the hot weather is really tough on him and um and so he thinks it's cool to go outside in the rain and the cold it gets his feet wet and you know he he's just in dog heaven oh. and the but i have to get all suited up sure. you know, like to get up at six in the morning and and put on longies and sweaters and a hat and shoes and all, you know, whereas people who don't have dogs, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. I love that little dog. He's mm -hmm. a good guy. But oh my I like God, that. I can't even get out of my, no way. I fuss and get upset when I have to open up a door to let my cats out yeah. at <laughs> like seven. <laughs> I know, you know what, um, I, my uh, second husband was from Ohio and and hit when uh he was a little boy i guess they had a dog and um and but in ohio it was in cleveland it was actual snowing 
So my ex-mother-in-law told me a story that they would attach his leash to uh, uh, a pulley that they had attached to the, the um, clothesline in the backyard. And that dog would run out the back door with his leash attached to the pulley and take himself for a walk. Oh, nice. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that he, he would run and then jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I thought it was That would be a better that's story. I I'll too. remember that. <laughs> well, why don't more people do that? Can't you, well, you know what? Thanks. You should do like in rear window because you're in the second floor, right? I had so. a broken leg once one time and some and a friend of Brad's brought me uh, our first um, CD player and a disc of, of rear window. So, so you, you, put, you could put him like in a basket. You put him in a basket. Roll him, and roll him, and crank him down. <laughs> it makes a creaking sound. It's got to make the creaking rusty sound. You lower him down. And he goes out of the little basket and he does his little business in the garden. And then he gets back in the basket and, and she rolls it, it back up and it comes up. He gets he to digs dig up a little bit, flowers. finds a dead body, and then <laughs> that's the end of that. But, you know, why not? Oh, I'm so glad to know that Jane does not have a category today. That makes me so good. I feel so good. Because I was worried he's going to be Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> We've watched it. Thrones, it we? was so confusing. Yeah, yeah. You. So, um, so Wendy, where are you? Uh, uh, it's weird to see in duo like that on the Earth. Uh, on the Earth? Oh, Los Angeles. Oh, okay. The, of the world. Oh, oh, okay. So, so you don't actually get cold weather. <laughs> you have to go out of your way to go to the snow. It's all relative. Yeah, like you have you, you have to plan a plan a day to go up in the mountains. There is snow, um, and the um, and it is like just a couple hours away. But you yeah. have to really go out of your way to go find it. Yeah. And 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 to me, see, my husband was from uh, my second husband was from Ohio, and his idea of what people did in the in different seasons of the year was completely different. Yeah. And, um, so he he showed me about how to how to make snowballs and throw them. <laughs> and um yeah. and it was it was pretty but I'm glad I didn't have to drive in it. Yeah, I remember a um, fellow from Pakistan mentioning that. Uh, okay, sometime they at at some point they heard that someplace up in the hills got snow, so they did a trip to actually see this weird stuff <laughs> yeah they, they hadn't heard of it off. before what what's that they, they haven't heard of it before oh, oh, it oh, 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 oh they oh, oh they heard of it but uh, just just one of these rare occasions where snow actually fell close enough for them to get to in a, in a reasonable <laughs> trip it oh, okay here. it happens here i've taken several of my um like co-worker people who worked for me or neighborhood kids taking them to see their first snow they've never been in snow before and we'd have to drive you know a few hours to get to where there would be snow and they i have pictures of a bunch of the kids and it's like this is their first snow and it was almost even a dusting you know or um they get in there and and they were just totally blown away they're like oh my god this is cold <laughs> I had no idea it was this cold. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's cold, but I, I never saw snow until I was um mm -hmm. went to Oregon to go visit some relatives up there when I was probably yeah. eight or nine or something. I'd never been in snow. I didn't know anything yeah. about it. I just saw it on the news or, or on cartoons. I was really transfixed with the peanuts cartoon. <laughs> Ron, yeah. Ron will know <laughs> what I mean about these cartoons, yeah. but that was so amazing. How in the heck? There's when is it going to snow, Mom? I want to make a snowman, Mom. I'm going to make a snowman. I want to make a snowman. When is it going to snow? When is it going to snow? I don't understand why it's not snowing here, and I want to be in the snow, and I'm going to make a snowman, and it never did that. So I, I didn't know. I thought mm -hmm. snow was. I thought I overslept or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I did not know that uh, we would have, that it was a thing that some places didn't have. And it's, it's yeah. a weird kind of, I don't know, part of your, part of your life that everybody seems to know. 
Yeah. How I ended up living uh, in remember. Detroit. Well, I was just going to say how I ended up growing up in in California was that my mom's father died when she was six years old. She was from St. Paul, Minnesota, St. Paul, Minneapolis, and they came out here. My grandmother came out to California. She thought she could escape her grief by moving to, you know, moving away. And so she packed up the three kids in the house hold full of furniture and came out to California. And I guess there were a few relatives or friends already out here. And they lived here for a year. And my grandmother realized that she wasn't going to snap out of it. The grief wasn't going away. So she went back to Minnesota. And um, then my mom met my dad during World War II in Washington, DC. And they got married. And I was born. And she told my dad, I don't know about you, but I'm taking the baby and I'm moving to California. <laughs> That's how I ended up here. It's because my mom never forgot that year without snow. <laughs> my dad came from World War II from Ohio and he came, he came, he was in the Philippines and um, Bougainville, Bougainville, I can say Bougainville, Bougainville, very, very hot areas, Guam. So he was out there during the war. And when he came, he came back to America, the war is over and they took him to Angel Island, which is right near San Francisco. And they demobbed him, you know, take all their uniforms away from him and give him enough money to get back home. He's like, what the hell? I am never going back to Ohio. Look at this place. You know, he saw California. He's like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. look at this. Yeah. It was a totally different world. California was just this incredibly beautiful no snow place and that was his thing he could not believe couldn't believe that there would be no snow it was incredible hi rob i think it rob was steiner you. take that kyle kyle there's a little battle that's going on between you and ron but you don't know it so <laughs> unless you're watching the last week or two when you haven't been here you wouldn't understand there's this com competition between you and ron so i don't I've know i've often felt very competitive with ron i get it <laughs> <laughs> mainly to drive susan nuts that's the only reason it's, it's sure. not gonna work because i'm a mom of two boys <laughs> and there ain't no way you're gonna rattle me because i've been there done that and i am the rattler now so you know i'm gonna be i'm gonna hold out like that 20 people in the house of representatives right now that are the crazy. <laughs> i'm gonna hold out until they finally bend to my will and that's how it that's how it looks right there so you know, I yeah. couldn't believe it. They were saying on the news tonight that the, the that one congressman was going to try to make them negotiate with the Democrats and and have a completely different relationship. I don't think it'll happen. Wouldn't that be nice. Well, they're saying, yeah, there's a lot going on. Everybody's saying I, I speculated. I put up on Facebook and nobody obviously noticed because it's like the only post I've ever made. Nobody said anything hardly. Uh, but the last thing I heard, just as I was hanging up the hanging up the the you know the YouTube thing, is that if it isn't if there isn't a resolution by next week, the Democrats are going to have to do something because this is just stupid. Anyway, look at we got new people. We got a new person. Everybody's going to be very nice to Troy. Hi, Troy. Why Troy is one now? of our new GSOW editors. Why start now. I like that. <laughs> so start being nice. Oh, we have to. Why are you using Rue? Who's Troy? Just use Troy. That's what I tell you as. Because uh, sometimes I do other Zooms, and I'm not actually a guy, even though Facebook says so. I just assumed you were. Okay. Cool. Of course. Well, do you want to? You can change your name to Troy right now. Just change it on your screen. How how familiar are you are you with um, Zoom? Somewhat. I can change my name, but I did change my name. It used to say Rue, so I put slash Troy on. It okay, so you so know Troy, who I was. Okay, I'm going to continue calling you Troy. Troy, Troy, I have no problem with you not being. Com what did you say? I'm sorry. Not not not. How did you phrase it? I don't want to phrase it wrong. What? I don't know. When we were asking about your two names, you said you're not not a guy. Okay. And and I wanted to and I wanted to say, hey, I've got no problem with that. 
<laughs> and, and, and it may not be clear to you right now why, but eventually you'll pick up. <laughs> well, I know Troy. I talk to Troy all the time on Facebook Messenger, but this is the first time I've, I've gone face to face. So we I've tried to Zoom you, but you've been busy. Well, it's the thing is, is that I'm not busy necessarily, but I can't get, I'm not in a spot where I can be, there's other things going on in the room or, or wherever I'm at. So, but it's okay. I'm around. Look at, hi, Erin. Nice to see you. Hi. Hi, Adrian. Crazy craze. Vincent. Hi. Um, I decided to wear the gold shirt because. It looks like you're on Dune. People seem to like it. <laughs> That's well, we actually water. That's actually a picture I took. Um, <clears throat> where did I take that? I can't remember. Great on Dune. Sand Dune. Yeah, when I, I was look, so. no, this look like a, Dune. There's gonna be a worm uh, coming off to the side in a minute. A sand wow. worm behind him. Something. Yeah. It's beautiful. A lot, of, a lot of haze between you and some hips and mountains. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be that's right back. I'm gonna go get. The Something somewhere in Vancouver. Give me something while you're there too, Wendy. Bring me some. I'm, I'm out of chocolate. Do you like sweet milk duds? <laughs> Paula bought me milk duds and brought them for Christmas. Bunch of boxes, and I've already had to go buy a couple more. You, we, like everyone knows your weakness. Okay. Look at what I got. I got the best. somebody on on Facebook talk told me that that American chocolate is no good, and told me to get this kind. What is it? And it's called. Valrona. Oh, that was Klaus who said that. Yes. Yeah. Don't listen wow. to Klaus. <laughs> I did it. And Hold on. We need a double blind test. <laughs> yeah. Come over here with it. This no, 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 no we really don't. There's plenty of us in America who will confirm that American chocolate is not good chocolate. <laughs> well, I don't have good taste buds, so I don't know any better. So uh, I, I like my milk. Uh, diet. That's all I know about. <laughs> I'm sure the chocolate is just as good as any. How did you know, Adrian? Was that, that? Did you see that whole thread? I did. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I was I was following it because anytime Klaus gets in, I'm in there and I, I'm usually laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, very straightforward. Uh, yes. <laughs> you know what? You know what they say about chocolate pizza and sex, right? What? Even when it's even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh there's a comma between chocolate and pizza. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh good one Kyle <laughs> I've uh I've had chocolate pizza before yeah. pretty good so, yeah, yeah Dairy Queen has them. Dairy take Queen your has word them. for it yeah. oh yeah yeah no. Dairy Queen makes them there it's a dessert though it's not it doesn't have it's a dessert with chocolate yeah. on top. <laughs> hey I should let you guys I should let you know that Troy watched one of our our January 1st video can you believe yeah. it somebody watched our video <laughs> <laughs> and then said well, that looks fun. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I didn't scare her away. Oh my gosh, it is. It was so long. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. that's normal. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's long. Yeah. But we have we have uh, we have a point where we really so, so Adrian. So so Adrian. People can leave. It's it, nobody's held <laughs> held hostage here. So. People so Adrian, so, so so Adrian, what is that you've used as your image, or um, I don't know why. I just kind of like this picture. Anyone She's not got a cataract no. night, so don't freak out, you guys. No, no Game of Thrones and no. So, so it's sort of looking up into the top of the dome. <laughs> yeah, it's story. a very very famous place. Oh, is this when you went to Italy? Yeah. How did I know these things? <laughs> so, so, so is that? She's She's being vague, so she doesn't have a topic tonight, but she's going to have a topic soon. <laughs> it's, it's either a looking view in a church or it's a warp core reactor. I was going to make a joke about the Jeffries tubes, yeah. Yeah, well, it's actually had to have been alien construction because there's no way man could have done that. <gasps> we're waiting we're waiting for gsw for oh, for the we're right. gonna get attacked i just i yeah. mean i know it it's gonna be like it's gonna happen now with those captives those gsow people and that isn't gonna be prison they're it's so awful and they're not allowing any good yeah. evidence on what is the name graham hoover graham grab a graham Huppa, what's his name yeah. <laughs> that's all it sounds right hoover graham, yeah. graham, hancock 
Ah, Ring block. That's what it is. Yeah, Thank he's you. gonna be all over me. I'm still <laughs> getting messages about Rupert Sheldrick and huh. yeah. I recently uh okay, what the most recent um skeptoid episode is on uh, uh some uh nan anyway island in the island in the pacific where there's some uh uh big rocks moved around to make some uh, uh make some plat platforms and uh, and of course you get some people saying oh must be aliens <laughs> i'm behind on my listening what is it oh the non-mystery of nan Med mandel Medill, yeah yeah so yeah i haven't seen that i'm behind on my podcast yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh yeah so i uh i did uh uh take uh go into google maps and uh, google earth and uh and uh and uh looked looked that up <laughs> yeah so yeah, yeah. is yeah. that fictional i yeah. think alan means chechnya no it's chechnya Czech, Czech, Czech yeah. Republic. Romero, I saw you. There's Romero. Czech Hi, Romero. Republic. Oh, okay. You're going Czech up first. Are you Czech first? Czech. Are you going to be all right? What is it? Are you first? Are you okay to be first? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Rob's going to go second. Carl, you're third. Aaron, you're fourth. You thought you'd be late, Aaron. You're not late. That was like a minute. No, no, things worked out. I got here reasonable time. Gail's, Gail's bonus, she said she's running a little late herself, so she she said, just let you know I'm going to be here, don't panic, and that's fine. You know what? Peggy's supposed to be on tonight. Who had Be Peggy before? Because Peggy's been messaging me all day telling me that her power's not on, so she sent me her category. Mm -hmm. Who was supposed to, when was Peggy supposed to be on? Hi, Zeke. Hi, Zeke. Hi, Zeke. Does anybody Hi, know? Was it Carl? Were, were you were you replacing Peggy? Carl Carl looks like he's been replaced by a chair. Oh wow! <laughs> Carl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that works. I think Peggy was originally on, and then we took her off and put Carl on. So. <sighs> That's what I think happened. So, so, gonna, stu gonna, so study Peggy's questions, Susan, and no, be I ready. No, I just got them in my email. I'm not touching. And be ready for them. next week. <laughs> I just looked at it and said, "They're there," but she's been. I told her we were going to have a prayer chain because I told her I've been praying all day for her to have her power come back on. Because you know, if you have power of telling God, you know what to do. I think well, we hey, just making sure Peggy has her power on that, <laughs> so she can play trivia. Yeah. Adrian's got the cathedral to pr to pray in. You, yeah, you, sure. you can only suggest that that's all it you can suggest. Say, okay, Bob. Would you? Okay, we'll suggest that God trust me. I actually think problem. that's a, a matter antimatter reactor on some uh, Federation ship. I think Carl. it looks a lot like that. I think that's a cool yeah. idea. Yeah. I like I, that. I, I would agree with that, Rob. Yes, oh. yes. So Peggy is under the impression she has a category tonight. And she, I think last time we played, which is on the first, we were talking about who was going to play who, or something, and Peggy was on, and then we took her off and put you on. Does that sound right? Uh, possibly. I mean, it's my understanding I have a round tonight. Yes, you do. So I'm going to tell Peggy we're putting her on for next week. I thought she was on tonight. But I'll tell her, okay, I'm just going to tell her that. She can look at the video later and see that I'm lying. <laughs> Who's doing the bonus tonight? Gail. Gail. Yeah. I'm doing round three. Let's see. And Carolyn looks like she's got a good reference library for cheating. <laughs> Ooh, I love that, Carolyn. That's I know, but she can't take any of the books off of there. We were trying to get them off and they wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Been a very interesting, interesting day. So, you know, it feels like I just saw you guys. Not all of us. Feels like that. <laughs> An interesting day. Tell us about it. Well, just listening to the you were watching the background, the the yeah, I've been chatting with people all day that I've had on YouTube because you know, of course, 
there's no way that these people could be so incompetent that we would be on 11 knows 11 ain't nothing susan and it's been a year. 11 ain't nothing we gotta shoot for 44. no we gotta shoot for 134. <laughs> Oh, I want the record. Is that the record? The record is 133, and it took two and a half months back in 1855. No way. Well, I thought it was 44 yes. that I read. Oh, wow. I, 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 I had to look it, was... it up. But no, he, no, is, no, he, he is now in 1959. The, if he goes to 13, he will be in the top three. Adrian, I think, the four, I think the 44 was like the last time it went to multiple. Gotcha. Um, I don't know. It was there's 44, 69, <laughs> or 66, and then the 133. Category tonight, y'all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I want to know how come none of these people have voted for Trump because you don't no, have to. No, they did. They had. They did. Both. Oh, we didn't see that or thing. Somehow bust his name out. <laughs> yeah, I, and he got up. And he got up. And it was Matt Gates. Matt Gates, right? Yeah. Yes. He got yeah. up there and was talking about how he's going to make. His goal is to make America great again. So we should let him get started in making the house great again. And it, it was like, the, and I saw the little clip on the news host, the uh, ABC. Adrian, Adrian's like, pulling what? power. What was this guy doing? <laughs> He's, he's making it as a joke. Peg. But if the, if the very he head of the orange votes. one is speaker, he can't be president. Yeah, but he's not going to be president again anyway. <laughs> but they want him to be. Yeah, but he's not going to. You be. could if you could impeach both the vice president. No, actually, and the all they would have to do is assassinate time. the president and the vice president, and he would be president. So there you go. Oh, no. Or is the third in charge at the same time. Oh, you're talking about, yeah, yeah. Okay, who's okay, my. Okay, that was I a did. joke, YouTube. That was a joke, YouTube. <laughs> 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 I just learned you could nominate anybody you want to be the Speaker of the House. They Hi, don't Katie. even have to be a current elected representative or senator. Hi, Mike Wolf. Hi. I'm just thinking about. The potential Patty Murray administration, if just to be on the safe side of if the Secret Service is listening, if uh, <laughs> Joe Biden and Kamala Harris both decide to peacefully resign, ordinarily it would be the Speaker of the House is third in line, but there's no right. Speaker of their House. Right. So now it'd be President Patty pro Harris. tem of the Senate, Senator <laughs> Patty Harris of Washington. Yep. Patty, Patty Harris. Patty, what's her last name? Patty, Patty Murray. Murray. Murray, yeah, Murray. she would be from Washington. Washington president. I think I a quick her. way. That's very interesting. A quick way to resolve this is Biden just does executive orders because it's not like they can do anything because they're not in session. Yeah. We have oh, no I legislative body. Like you can't start a session because there's no speaker to start a session. So they, it's we have entered session paradox. I I'm confused about why the um. The people who haven't been sworn in yet get to vote for Speaker of the House. Oh, that because was explained in some. Everyone, before. everyone gets to. Everyone who is a, everybody is a, is a member elect at this point. <clears throat> even people who used to be in the House of Representatives. I, I, they always, they always vote. I still say you're not allowed to vote if you're not sworn in. That's my <laughs> opinion. Take it. <laughs> no, you could take You'd it. You'd have to change. Well, nobody's You'd sworn have to in change everything if that was the case. That, that's true. Technically, nobody is sworn in at this point. Okay, I'll take that. Nobody's in charge. The inmates are in charge. Of the pure semantic, or, uh, for show. The only one who's in charge is the woman who's handling the um, the okay. yeah, yeah, she's the clerk. Cheryl, she's the Cheryl the Hill Johnson. Jury. Cheryl is standing ovation today. The clerk, Cheryl L. Johnson. That's her name. Yeah. And they, they gave her a standing ovation, the whole room after the 10th vote. <laughs> and somebody in the back from the Republican side yelled, let's make her speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. She, she's lost her chance to be to be uh, immensely famous, though, because every time she calls Santos's name, for the role, she should say, if that is your real name. <laughs> I, I, every thought time. That I they... would do it every time. And what I are they going to do? Fire me? They're not really in them. Congress. They can't fire me. When, when they when they re, when they reported that his name was called and he didn't respond and they called a second time, that was my first thought was he's not responding because he forgot what name he's using. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought to myself. 
I because I've been talking to Caspian today too and uh and Sterling and I we're going back and forth and we're talking about the what's going on. And I said, How one guy left and he went to go to a doctor's appointment. I'm like, what what you get your teeth cleaned or something? I mean, yeah, I mean it has to be a freaking big deal before you're gonna go into a doctor's appointment and not be there for the vote. So this Republican goes <laughs> off to a doctor's appointment. So they lost a vote, right? And that kind of screws things a little bit. And I thought, what would happen if like four more just lost track? And I said, George Santos could be in a bathroom stall somewhere graffitiing the inside of the door. <laughs> and nobody would notice he was there, gone because nobody's watching him. They're, nobody's paying attention. So, I mean, he could just go into the little stall because they have I, throughout the whole um place i think they have like these monitors so people know what's going oh. on and i think there's lights and stuff that say you know there's a vote's going on so that people shouldn't miss it but you know maybe nobody has a cell phone number and so you know <laughs> if he's in there so we can lose him that would be fine with me but anyway okay so we're about to go to our room so uh troy who is the only new new person new new yeah. new new today do you Hi. know how to use breakout rooms no okay i saw you guys doing it when i watched the video but i didn't know what you were doing to do that okay so you're gonna see a message in a couple seconds it says susan gerbig has invited you to room whatever five and you're gonna say okay i'm going to room five and then you just push the button as it comes up on the screen and you will be put in a room with about five people in that room that is your team through the whole night. And when you play multiple times, the team always changes. You'll, I force you guys to be social. I force you to get to know other people. So that's that's me. So um, this will be your team tonight is whoever's in room five. Some people might leave. Some people might arrive late. And I will play on team five at one point. I only record, we record all the different rooms once when I'm in there. Because wherever I go, the video follows. So if you're in that room, and for I the did not know that nobody will be groups. <laughs> yeah, you're only going to stay in the, you're, you're not changing groups. So you're going to go there right now. And just, and so people on Troy's team, you make, you're responsible for making sure that Troy doesn't get like kicked out or something weird happens. Okay. <laughs> just telling you guys. <laughs> yes, okay. Susan. Yes, oh. Susan. So go to your rooms, play nice, hurry up and come back. Cause I already miss you. I don't think I'm assigned. No, you're not. Let me put you, okay. just thinking about okay. that. Let's put you, I think five will work well for you. Let me see. Okay, have fun. Okay, thank you. Hey, y'all, it better be funny what you're coming up with. I'm bringing you back now. So hurry up. This is, this is God speaking. And we went to pray for for Peggy to be able to have power so she can join us tonight. And then I'm going to move to the other room and join in with another computer so he can do us round one. Do not okay. come back to crochet. That'll be fun. Okay. What are you crocheting a penguin? It's my moon face shawl that have been going on since 2020. I thought it was a pen. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, but it's like it's a as shawl. tall as me. Yeah, it's tall as me now. Aren't the you phases done? of the moon? Oh, that is. Oh, I get it now. Phases of the moon. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, very nice. nice. Yeah, it's over six feet. Oh, it's over five five feet now. Yeah. Is that a shawl? Yes. I it mean, go, but it's over six feet. It will be over six feet. I just have to finish it. It's going to be a wrap. Yes, wrap it'll keep me warm. Girl. It'll keep my bony butt warm. That looks really awesome. What a great idea. Did you, it's not from a pattern, is it? It is from a pattern. It's called um, phases, like phases of the moon or moon phase shawl on Etsy. It was like five bucks. So Susan. 
Yes. Just, a, just after you said you never put the same people on the same team, we have the exact same team we had last game. The exact yeah. same people on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Carolyn, Bob, and you? Yep. Yeah, I was wondering. I think we had a few of the same ones as last time. I, I skipped last week, though. So. Okay, wait, let me look. Were you, Rob? No, that's not true. Last the rest of my case. Okay, last week or, or a Sunday? <laughs> Thursday. Huh? Last Thursday. Oh, okay. Let me look. 29th. Rob, Rob Vincent, I... Mark, Carl, Jean, Jamie. No, that wasn't it. Oh, oh was it a week before? It was a week before. Well, we're really getting into the cherry picking, aren't we? Because <laughs> you said last time. Yeah, but you was... said never. You said never. Well, no, no, I mean, there's only like 30 of us. I mean, so it's going to happen where you're getting... with We're me. moving the goalpost a little bit. Yes, we are. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> oh, Deborah's on her way. So if we get a category in, then we'll um, put her on the team that is doing the worst. So when Deborah, just saying. Too bad on the first category. And well, then just put her on my team right away because I mean I've been uh, I've been in last place for the last five weeks. So <laughs> well, thanks, Al. Mom, that's how it is. You know, you got three Canadians on our team right now, so yeah, we know this is the week there will be no questions about Canada. Alan from the oh, future okay. just sent us a message that his team scored the worst in the next round. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, that would be Jamie would know that because Jamie's in the future, right? Yes, I'm in the I'm in the future. So I'm 14 up. So you would know that it's awful. Right? Okay, gotcha. What <laughs> um, what what time is it there, Jamie? It's almost Ooh, ten o'clock in the morning. Randy's joining almost us. Yeah, I'm gonna put Randy on that team right now. Wait, Jamie, are you anywhere near Krabby? Yeah, well, we're on the opposite side of Thailand. Krabby ah, okay. Is, okay. is on the west. We're on the east side of the country. Okay. Is that real okay. about the butter? That's crazy. What? <laughs> Mike just put something into the chat about butter in Wisconsin. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. Hey, Adrian, is St. Peter's, Peter's, Peter's Basilica anywhere near St. Peter's Basilica? Oh, my plus. God. That looks like something from the yeah. Oh, yeah. River of Noah, I like my typo. Isn't that good? Waterway yeah. after fire at dairy, dairy plant. For Is that where they go to the say bass? Yeah, they say they, <laughs> they say bass there. That's right. Lots of fishing. <laughs> okay, so it says for those watching, you know. So that would uh, so that would sort of uh, match the molasses flood. Uh, <laughs> the great molasses flood. Yeah. Great molasses flood. Boston, described Boston. struggling through butter three inches. So wait a minute. If you can take that butter flood and the molasses the flood, all you need is a giant pancake. Well, I think I you'd also a... want you'd also want a fl a, 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 a flower snowstorm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I see it as a metaphor. Uh, it's blocking the waterway in much the way that it would block an, an artery, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. You know what? I just, I'm working on this book, right? And I just finished rewriting a chapter. And I think we used the word, it was a psychic. It was some of the people, some of you guys know this is when I did a Facebook Live and a woman gave me a reading. And I just was reading it and I'd forgotten this, but she uses the word metaphor so many times. She's like, oh, it's a metaphor. Because she said I had a basement and I grew up in a house with a basement. I was scared to go into the basement. I'm like, I've never had a house with a basement. She goes, oh, it's a metaphor. What? <laughs> it's funny you just mentioned metaphors. Anyway, all right, so we're back. Yes, we got through the first task, okay. which was to get so you guys the, uh, safely there and back. Hmm? So, on the, so, so the Sesame Street character ran uh, metaphor. <laughs> metaphor? Yeah, what's metaphor? Oh, ah. <laughs> okay. Vincent, Canadians. We're going to put you uh, in different teams now. Uh, that was, that was, the same team. That, it, was, for that was Carl that did that. So it, It's for sheep and cows to graze in. Yeah, meta for meta, well, at least meta. they could be outstanding in their field. Okay, here we go. Mm, true. So I want to know what your guys' teammate names are because this, you know, is one of my favorite parts. Of that was a very moving joke. 
<laughs> that one was mine. That was got pretty million. good. Got a was million. We're gonna get that TV show any day now. Was it or was it bad? Well, <laughs> no. I think we lost any chance of a movie a TV deal. All right, Ben, Ben, Jim, Karen, Faith, Romero, Wendy. Who are your? Who is this winning team you're going to be tonight? What is it? Phil Connors for House Speaker. <laughs> Bill Connors. Yes. Bill Connors. Here, I'll, I'll help. Is that who's the guy that? from? Who's that? Um, who's that? Is he the it's guy Grant. from Sci-Fi? It's things? Ned. Ned it's, Ryerson, it's, Phil. It's Grant. It's, Grant, it's Groundhog Day. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love Groundhog's Day. Phil. Phil. That's awesome. Phil. That's fantastic. I love Groundhog Day. Oh, I love that too. I haven't watched it in a long time because I think I've got like 10 times I've seen it. And well I done. Yeah. I, I, I can't well. look at that guy's face on Phil's slide, <laughs> I saw that today and I had to share it with people because I just thought I love it was so that. funny. Okay. So that kind of tied you into win. our team in. This team wins. <laughs> Let's just go. We'll we'll play um something else. All right. Bob, <laughs> Carolyn, Jamie, Robin, Brandy. Hello, Brandy. Hello, Brandy. Hey, Brandy. Hey. Pat Paulson for House <laughs> Pat Paulson, Paulson. this guy who ran for president like over and over and over and over and exactly. over. Exactly. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I do know That's that the one. Guy. There's one I know. So almost, <laughs> almost as many times as Bogo. But isn't he dead? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is he? He, he might be. Yeah, he died. Oh, yeah, he died a long time ago. <laughs> oh, well. Is that a requirement for yeah, speakers? We, we probably don't have a, any rules. If not, we've just killed him off. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember he died. I don't think he, it matters. I died. see a list of nominees coming up oh, here. Well, he died I, in got, I posted, okay, I want yeah. you guys to know we're on video right now. I recommended two days ago that they should get Cindy McCain and put her in there. Oh, uh, good idea. That's a good idea. I that said, is. if you put her in there, the Republicans, the <laughs> moderate Republicans are going to go for her. She's got just enough experience to deal with it. She is a mom of four, so you know she can handle those babies in there. <laughs> and the Democrats just have enough go over, or the Democrats just say, you know, say, yeah. just vote present, put her in, they'd kick some ass. We might get some stuff done. And then she's not got political ambition, so she's gone in two years. I think that's and no, I put that up on Facebook and nobody said it. and then I went back and looked and I said, did I mark it just private? Like I'm the only person who can see this code. <laughs> and it's public. I could put something up about pepperoni and pineapple on my pizza. And I get like 900 people come after me calling me a witch. <laughs> but no, I have something brilliant. <laughs> that old man. Okay. All right. So Casman says he might be late, but okay. All right, all right. So here's the next team. Um, and that will be James, Janine, Carl, Zeke, and Kevin. Uh, we have no team name after 11 votes. There you go. <laughs> Adrian, Adrian, does that count in our in our voting? <laughs> no team after 11 votes. Uh, yeah. Or no team name yeah after we, we were psychic <laughs> we kind of predicted yeah. this was going to happen i like that this is all this is okay let's see if anybody <laughs> breaks the trend adrian <laughs> alan aaron kyle and ron go for it aaron i know who the speaker <laughs> of my house who's the speaker <laughs> of my house <laughs> <laughs> i have speakers in my house too we're getting close <laughs> to team name bingo I can, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got Alexa, one more. Alexa for house speaker. Have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you seen the memes with the toast? What what toast looks like at different stages of toast? The last one is Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And I put that other one up that <coughs> Colbert has out today too. See, this is social stuff, you know. It's it's not, we're not serious about trivia. Um, the uh, <laughs> the other one I put up, I'll put the link in here in case you haven't seen it. It's hilarious. It's uh, Colbert. It's a minute long. I'm not going to show it, but um, Colbert does a thing on on Speaker of the House for um, Kevin Kevin McCarthy. Okay, last but not least, let's see what this team comes up with. It is it going to be a pfeiffer? Are we going to get every one of the team names named after the speakers? Jane, Mike Wolf, Troy, Terry, Vincent, and soon to be here, Gail. 
After 11 votes. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> 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 never had that happen before. Yay. We are consistent. <laughs> the we have a full house. 150 full years, house. all the names have aligned. Yeah. Right. After a head, 11 time. votes, our girl yeah. called to elect a speaker. Wow. Has, it, has, it, has everyone Touch seen the new, new, the new capture, by the way, here? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. Like the images <laughs> with the speaker. Excited. None of them are Kevin McCarthy. None of them are Kevin McCarthy. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. This I hope this is never forgotten. Somebody, You know what? They, said, they really wanted to bring the people together, and this is evidence that's happening. Yeah. Really? yeah. Even on trivia, <laughs> all five and, teams. And I guess will, what? Will, Next week in oh, trivia, what all five okay. names are going to be. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I, they were talking about, they said will the will when it comes to election time will, will, the, will the populace already have forgotten all about this and it, it'll be forgotten and they said yes it'll be forgotten but what you're seeing right now is the beginning of, of what we're going to see for the next two years no, we'll have forgotten no. about how long it took to get a, a a speaker of the house but we will definitely know <laughs> That uh, this is two, incompetence. we have a flush very good we have a flush and it's a royal flush almost <laughs> it's, almost it's a house flush flush of house no house mm -hmm. flush full house <laughs> all right full so house. here we go i'm about to read them off you guys ready i know this is your favorite part of the whole night okay <laughs> game number 142 season three episode 33 and here we are on january 5th 2023 it's the first time in the last time for at least probably what seven twelve years seven years before we have another Thursday night on January 5th, 2023. And we have five teams, talk, talk five teams, five teams, believe it or not, five teams that are vying to get the, the mantelpiece or the, the award, the giant award that you guys are going to get when you're done with this team, when you win that major thing, maybe it'll even be Edgar who will be your team mascot. I don't know. Here it is. So we have Team number one, Phil Collins. No, I'm sorry. Connors. Phil Connors. Is that Phil Connors? For House Speaker. Or Pat Paulson for House Speaker. Or no team name after 11 votes. Versus, I know who the Speaker of my house is. Versus, after 11 votes, our team failed to elect a Speaker so we could not proceed to choosing a name. Thank you. <laughs> we have a winner. It's going to be somebody has something to do with the Speaker of the house. Not choosing a name. <laughs> I am so proud of you all for coming up with that. First off, we're leading off with Romero all the way over there in North Carolina. And then followed by Romero, we have Mr. Rob Palmer, who is being let out of jail just long enough to be able to, to do a category. Robert Palmer, I should say. Yeah, Robert Palmer being let out of the, the jail. Carl, Carl with a K, so they say. We'll lead it up on third. Then followed by Aaron, 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 Aaron on, on round four. And then finally, it's Gail, who has not arrived yet, but she has told me she's here and her brother is here. So we should be okay. because. <laughs> and Peggy is hopefully going to join us. If her power comes back on, I we need to be... Everybody say Grace. 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 And uh, hopefully that helped some. Caspian might come a little late and, and Deborah's on her way. She should be here in the next four minutes. So I think we're ready to play. Did I make a host? Did I make somebody a host? Who's my normal host? Romero. Oh, you're first. No, Rob. I'm the host. Okay, so I haven't given a troll host. Who am I going to make my troll host tonight? Who hasn't done it in a long time or ever? I've actually never done Terry, it. Terry, put her ever. hand up. Never like, done it, but I leave her. Terry, Terry, I'll do it. Okay. No, oh, Rob, you're good. You've got a or, game tonight. You yes. are. A, you have a round, so I don't. I always make it somebody who's not oh, around. Smash trolls. Where is it? Where? How do we do this? Helen. Aha. So Terry, you're hard, in charge. Terry. Terry's in charge of the trolls tonight. Okay. Of all none of them that ever show up. Yeah, we that's hope, right. We wait. We try, and they never show up. We not yet. Bite them. How do you not we, get trolls? Well, one thing is it's password protected. So you, you leave out troll traps. Yeah. And a waiting no. room. Oh, we have a waiting room. No, really you don't. Well, they but, come here. But they get so bored, to... they leave. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, 
I do this every week. I do this every week in RFR and we just publicly advertise it and there is a waiting room, but there is no password. So you're just automatically admitted. And that's when you get trolls. Believe me, you get trolls. There yeah, are, there are, right. there are, there are clubs that do nothing but troll zoom meetings that are publicly available and open. Well, our team is, it, it is open. You could just yeah. join it from no, Facebook. No, you need I a was, password. I, 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 I don't need a password. Be a I don't Rob, if, uh, Rob, Rob, if you go in, if you go through like the um, the Facebook post that Susan puts up, you I just don't click want, on it. You click on it, it takes you right in. Now, I will say that I've been in early on where I entered a password like last year kind of thing. So maybe <laughs> Zoom is holding that. I don't know. <laughs> No, well, I, I pressed the join now button and that was it. Okay. So, so, yeah, there's no, there's no password button. required. Well, that is it's it's just built room, into the URL. And Susan has to say yes to let you yeah. in. Yeah. Susan, did you, did, we ever, did you ever find out who Michael was last week? Did you ever find out the, who that Michael was who was no. here and then left? New Jersey. No, no, Michael from New Jersey. He left early. He was in our group and he said he was from New Jersey. That's all the information. And the video camera wasn't working. Uh, before he left, he he was with us one round yeah. and did contribute to he the He was answers. a troll from New Jersey. No, he contributed <laughs> to the answers and played dice. Oh, I think that I we was... wouldn't be able to tell a troll from one of you regular players. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. I, was, I, I originally intended to be a troll, but then I got hooked in. <laughs> <laughs> I know what a stressful thing. All right, so I'm ready to go. Romero, Romero, are you I'm here. Ready? Está listos? I'm, yes. I'm still a troll. I'm just waiting for the right moment to be <laughs> extended. You're, you're very, right. very patient. 142, very, very Kevin. If you're going to troll covered. us, you're, you've been doing a really bad job of it. Yeah. Notice patient. how Kevin like is. Always I don't know. Reclining. I've sat through some of his categories. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so, trolling you. Notice, notice how Kevin is always reclining, but he never shows us the bottom half of his body. Mm, one day, thank he doesn't have one. He doesn't. Yeah, he's very troll legs. Oh, he's I a clown suit. He's a merman. <laughs> <laughs> but I got this new bed that moves, so no. I can push a button. Nice. Did you have to put too. In? Is it moving? Hey, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> look, look, my chair is moving. I'm <laughs> push a button. Here, I'm going to push a button to go down. Girl, slowly lift. <laughs> is this how you do push ups is it, or sit ups? <laughs> yes, sit -ups? Or sit -up. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, push your button to go down in your chair. And push your button to go up in your chair. <laughs> Anyway, I should point out to Troy this. Okay, I was gonna say it's never like this, but that's a lie. Never. Uh, what I will say is the categories are about to come up. I have no idea what they are. They could all be the same category. Nobody knows. Well, it's extremely unlikely. It's well, we just had all five people come up with this the House of Representatives. Somebody might have everybody <laughs> might have written House of Representative questions today. So only the person who knows. What they're going to do tonight knows what the category is. So this should be interesting. Romero, is it the House of Representatives? Uh, close, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Romero is going to announce what his category is. We can boo or hiss. And then Terry's going to mute us. And then he's going to give us some questions. I'll be back. See your, okay. We'll see you in a minute, Kevin. Um, Troy, make sure you can see your chat because all the questions will appear in your chat. Don't answer right. anything. Uh, just keep keep it to yourself until you get into your team, and uh, you could. It might help if you were writing it down. Some people find that very helpful to write down as you go, but they'll all be in the chat, and you're going to be muted. So the only time you can unmute yourself is if whatever you have to say is funny, right? <laughs> and, 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 and and of course, no looking anything. And doesn't up with, give. I don't look at stuff or whatever. With, no some ex, with some exceptions, if you have somebody in the house, you can ask them a question. If oh, they're yeah. within shouting distance of you, that's fine. Yeah, you can. There, yeah, Carolyn really looks like she's ready to uh, look stuff up. <laughs> yeah, or, but no. Or if you can see it, or if you can. Yeah, see if you can it, see it. You are. So if so, if the book shelf's in front of you and it has something on it, as long as you don't get the book. <laughs> But you can see it from where you are, which is when I keep saying I'm going to put the table of elements here and a map of the United States here or the map of the world there and mm -hmm. time zones. And a copy of every um, spaceship 
in any <laughs> science fiction movie <laughs> or TV series ever. And, weapons, yeah. right? and anything and about Blake Seven. Yeah. yeah. Wikipedia printed out over here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't billion turn pages. the pages. That would be against just, the rules. Just guess. Just no, guess. So if you have the pages, paste it on the wall. That'd be okay. <laughs> Within your eyesight. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Romero. Ron, is it only the English on Wikipedia, or are you covering other languages? It's only the Portuguese one. I can't even read it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get let's get Romero's category. Oh, I thought we were done. <laughs> Boo! Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, the category is machines. Oh, machines. Background. background. All right. So go ahead, Terry. Okay, okay. I'll mute in three, two, and one. Impossible. <laughs> Okay, so uh, all right, so let's go for the first question. Is uh, number one. So this machine holds the record for the fastest air breathing manned aircraft set on July 28th, 1976, traveling at the speed of 2,193 miles per hour, or for the metric folks, 3,529 kilometers per hour. Number two, the space shuttle was the first reusable crewed space vehicle. The Soviet response to the space shuttle was this vehicle that had only one successful unmanned flight in 1988 and was canceled after that. This is still the largest and most expensive space exploration project in Soviet history. I guess it would stay that way because there's no more Soviet uh, Union. Uh, what was the name of the vehicle? Uh, number three, completed in 1985, this huge flying machine was capable of carrying very heavy things. In the past, it carried generators, wind turbines, and even a diesel locomotive until its destruction by the Russian army in 2022. It held the record for the heaviest and largest wingspan of any aircraft in operation. Four, uh, construction of this machine started in Texas after Texas won the bid against Illinois in part due to protests from people living there. Uh, one such organization, Catch, claimed incorrectly that nuclear waste would be a problem. In the end, after uh, budget issues, the project was canceled by Congress, but only after $2 billion had already been spent. Number five, this was the first ocean going ironclad. It had a wooden hull with 4.7 inch thick armor plates, as well as sails and steam power and steam power screw to propel itself in the water. It resisted hits from the strongest guns of the time uh, from a distance of 65 feet or 20 meters. Uh, number six, if it had been built, this rocket would have been the largest rocket ever built with the goal of lifting 550 tons into low Earth orbit. For comparison, the goal of SpaceX's Starship is 100 tons. The rocket was to be launched from the ocean, would have the rocket submerged underwater. They even had a plan to generate hydrogen and oxygen from the ocean water for the rocket's fuel. Number seven, this was the first programmable electronic general purpose digital computer. It was primarily used to calculate artillery, artillery firing tables, but its first program was to calculate the feasibility of a thermonuclear bomb. Six women were the first programmers of the machine, although they were not recognized for their efforts until decades later. Number eight, in what year was the first rechargeable electric car invented? Uh, plus or 10, plus or minus 10 years. Number nine, created in 2005, this machine was uh, 
funded by DARPA. So we have a typo. And it was hoped that it would serve to accompany soldiers in terrain too rough for conventional vehicles. However, it was discontinued in 2015 uh, because it was be being gas power, it was deemed too noisy for using combat. And number 10, this machine is the oldest example of an analog computer used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses. It is believed to have been created between 200 BC and 100 BC. It was discovered in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece. And that's it, any questions? Okay, Good so- Thank you. All right. So I'll I'll send you to your rooms. Good job. Here comes Deborah. I'm gonna put her on a team. So one. I need to be put in room one, Susan. Okay. Three for Kevin. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta put Brandy in too. Okay, Kevin goes into three. Faith is in one. Brandy, I put you in two. And Deborah, one, two, three, four, five, 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 one. I will put you in two, four, five. Don't usually. Yeah, okay, you're gonna go in four. Uh, okay, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna guess at 1900, but I think I may be too late. Were they a first electric car? Yeah. First, re first rechargeable. Yeah, rechargeable though might make that a right because the first electric time. car was in the late 1800s, but it's rechargeable. Meaning, uh, it well, uh, I would expect that they. Uh, I I would expect that they ought all have been using something rechargeable like lead acid batteries or something way back when yeah uh, uh, anyway uh anyway i decided to put 1900 but i'm not gonna but i but i uh i i think it's more like to be earlier than that okay what's I, the question say rechargeable right electric. electric car invented plus or minus 10 years yeah like <sighs> oh i think i've put that too late but it but anyway, I know there were. I know electric cars were rechargeable. Electric cars were fairly common before the Model T came out. Really? Okay. So then the first electric car was like in the eighteen eighties. Yeah. Okay. And that and, and that would and I can't see anybody bothering if it wasn't rechargeable. You would think. Well. We but they could have had really long extension cords. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, well, again, this is probably going to be something that for sure wasn't a mass produced thing at yeah. the time. Prototype. It was more of a, yeah, prototype yeah. type. Oh, yeah. hey, look what we can build. Yeah. Okay. Two th uh, number do nine. We, do we uh, want to say like 1890? That way we have, we're covering 1800, 1880s and, eight. and, oh, and Already? Get 1900 in there. Man, you guys are awesome. no, we're, we're skipping around. We skipped oh. a few, but we'll have to go back. Yeah. Oh, uh, what we're doing, ten, Susan, not, number is 10 James, is the Antikythera mechanism. Jim, Jim, Jim knew, knew a lot. And Wendy's waiting. We were just filling in the ones that we know before we tackle the ones we don't know. Right. Okay. okay sound makes... like Jim and Wendy both know ten, right? How? how what is it? Ten. I don't know the name of it, it but I've heard it. 
What is it, Wendy? Antikytheria. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. What did, what did Jim think the pronunciation is? I, I always thought it was Antikythera. Okay, I didn't know. I, I've That's only read it. I've never yeah. read it. No. But, uh, but now that I think about it, I, 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 I was just sort of guessing from the spelling. <laughs> We're going to totally butcher the spelling, but hey, whatever. Yeah. But, okay. Anti but it, it's so A N T I. A is, my, it, it, is what I think it was. What were you saying, Jim? And, okay, yeah, well, okay, it's anti is an opposite this island, Kythera. K Y T H E R A, if I'm remembering it right. Okay. That's close enough. Sure. Yeah. Spelling didn't matter. It looks yeah. Greek. And okay. nine, I think, is, the, is big dog, but. Uh, uh, Being gas power. It was yeah, are you talk yeah, and I think that it, you're talking about the one Boston Dynamics. Yes. Made. I think I think they are called big dogs. All right, big dog sounds good to me. If we have two people that are wow, you guys and are if you good, and if wait, you watch or should that, I go big dog like they don't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you all know these because I only knew one. I don't okay, let's one. see. We need to go back. I one, I am pretty sure one is the Blackbird, the SR seventy one. Okay, because they um, kept pulling that out anytime a plane would. Uh, break uh, the speed record they'd pull the blackbird out because it was a classified plane for a while and they just they they the the military would never let <laughs> you know how fast it could actually go so anytime another plane beat the record they just pull it out and fly yeah. it faster and say oh no here's the new record yeah so and so 76 time frame fits too for the blackbird so oh, yeah. okay I'm so if, if anyone with disagrees that. with me let me know but i'm pretty sure one is the black uh, I'm uh, now three i've heard of this one and it was and it was in it uh it was in ukraine when uh uh when the soviet union fell apart so that's why it got destroyed by the russian army was it a defrosted pterodactyl <laughs> <laughs> it was a chicken named edgar, edgar. i like it <laughs> okay uh darn well, they destroyed I, it. I've heard it. of it, but I can't remember the name. Yeah. Heaviest and largest wingspan of any aircraft in operation. Yeah. Oh, isn't that the um Grey Goose? Yeah, the Grey is it was it the Grey oh, Goose? That's wooden, not the wooden name. the wooden thing? It was a okay. aircraft. The spruce thing. Goose was spruce uh, goose. Yeah, spruce the goose. Spruce Goose was in the US. This was uh, uh, this was something oh, that because this is Rush. Wait. Until this its is, destruction by the Soviet. Russian army. The, yeah. yeah. So it was when they invaded Ukraine, they destroyed. Yeah. So it was built in, right. the, in the Soviet Union, and as when the Soviet Union fell apart, it was in Ukraine, and okay. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. What the heck was that called? No idea. Yeah. Okay. Go. Uh, go on to five. I think uh, three I like and five are the, the only one. Was it the monitor or the Merrimack, or uh, or is that something? Or am I? totally off base and was something else no because I'm, I'm thinking it's the same thing it was a historic that's all um yeah the monitor um, or the merriman yeah those both of those are very familiar but, the, but 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 do they but do either of them count as ocean going because they were yeah. in chesapeake bay when they when they had their fight hmm. so that might have been something else well, Chesapeake Bay is open to the ocean. That counts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Was uh would five have been um the um dreadnought? Repeat that, please. Dreadnought. Dreadnought, which uh, which became the name of an entire class of class. Five. Yeah. Later on. Yeah, but uh, but but they were but the class was named after the the ship. Well, why don't we put it for now and then yeah. we can still ponder it until we have we're out of time yep okay and uh, i think I it's n o u g h n o u yeah i think you're right yeah okay it's i mean yeah. i think it would be more appropriate if it was k n o t because it's an ocean going vessel not yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I, well, I guess Dread it's supposed not. to be, Dread it fears nothing. nothing. Dread fears nothing. nothing. I know, I know. Oh, but a pun, I get it. It's a punny. Have you guys got yes. all? 
Uh, no, no, we need to figure out what the we need three is. is. Number three, and and there are a couple of uh, that we're that we're gathered guessing at. <laughs> okay, what were you guessing? They started with M's. No, goose. They were goosey. Yeah, but that was the U.S. one that we we're yeah, bringing up. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay, you said gray goose, and gray goose is vodka. Yeah, I know. I, I, <laughs> the gray goose is not made in Russia. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. Well, one. it was the the spruce goose is what we're thinking of, and that yeah. one was yeah, right. that was uh, supposed to have been so huge. Maybe yeah. Russians yeah. came and killed the spruce Carolina. goose in California. Excuse me. Did the spruce goose is in California? It's in California, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, the yeah, Russians might have hit it. Does it, it still exist? Supposed to, it was supposed to have been so big, and that was a characteristic of this aircraft. But I don't think yeah. it was ever used militarily. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but number three does not fit the spruce goose. No, because it didn't even fly that much because it was so yeah giant. It yes, flew because, like a few feet off the yeah. ground, and that was about it. I vaguely remember seeing some pictures of this enormous plane that opens up at the back, and you can drive yeah. some enormous thing into it yeah because they're saying this one actually carried generators and stuff and it's 85 so spruce goose was before that so but i have no idea what the heck this thing was called machine what were those big helicopters i seem to remember um there was there were huge oh no i'm well but with it having a wingspan it wouldn't be a helicopter it'd be a plane okay never mind oh Oh, five was dreadnought. Yeah, that's a good point. I I was thinking Wendy might be on the right track because he says yeah. he's a flying machine, but you're right. It does say I mean, that. some helicopters have little, tiny, you know, more pylons that come out of the side. But yeah, if it's saying largest wingspan, it would be a plane. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Was the great be... was the, not the great goose? Was the spruce goose a large um, vehicle at one time in history? Yeah, I understand. Right. What about I've, I've, another goose, like the Airbus goose, or something yeah. like that? Yeah, or the vodka okay. goose. Das yeah. goose. Well, well why is goose? goose? But the, goose. okay, I I remember reading about the spruce goose, uh, in um, this uh, science fiction story, the uh, Niven and a few others. And uh, assuming assuming he didn't fictionalize much of it, it was built under Howard Hughes' yeah. direction, and it was in during the World World War Two. Yeah, and was in and it was definitely a U.S. thing. So yeah, it was like it, in the forties that that thing. Yeah. But what? If, but what if they continue the name and just change it instead of Spruce Goose, like the Mega Goose or the the airbus goose or the yeah. maxi yeah. goose yeah but um it's not ringing a bell with okay anybody. okay no. okay given okay this was okay super the goose thing I, the, the, the thing i remember was this enormous thing built on uh, built in the soviet union and it was in the ukraine when the uh when the soviet union fell apart so that's why it was poss maybe possibly an asset to Ukraine, at least in financially. Is somebody else might somebody might want to Ukraine might want to hire it out to somebody to move something. So I so it's got to have have a sort of Russian slash Ukrainian name, right? <laughs> Real quiet. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so that's the only one where we don't have at least a guess. Sputnikisk. Yeah, like the like two, you know, that they're the Russian version of, of the space shuttle was the Bur Buran, I guess that's how you pronounce yeah. it. Buran. Yeah. So I don't know. It's gonna be something. Eight. Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh oh, we don't have we don't oh wait, oh wait, wait, wait what do we have down for eight? 1890. Uh, 1890 we i put again we can change that but i just figured with some okay. of the dates that were thrown around we got a plus or minus 10 so okay yeah i was thinking 1900 but uh that'll uh, 19 yeah 1900, 1900 will be covered 1900 just 1900 is probably a bit late 
yeah. for the very for the very first. Yeah. Um I have this feeling that the that, that some <coughs> of the prototype was built several decades earlier. For like eighteen fifty ish or something even. For number <laughs> um for number eight, would you want to instead of write at eighteen ninety, would you want to make it ninety one or ninety two just in case, or does that matter? Yeah. If it yeah, if it was a very first we're on the last question, Romero. Hmm. Are we almost done? That's what I was going to yeah. ask. You okay, should, yeah. so, you should go ahead and close okay. the rooms. Could right. we, okay, so, okay, so we, so we got two minutes. So we still don't what have, if number three right? was named like the Stalin or the Lenin something? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not a bad... Put something. The Super Stalin. Super Stalin. We like Stalin, Stalin or Lenin? What are we Stalin like? Goose. Yeah. Okay. Stalin Goose. <laughs> I keep saying super because super is the answer in number four. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Super good. Number one, SR-71 Blackbird. Number yep. two, Buren. Number three, the Stalin Goose. <laughs> the four, yeah. Super Conducting Collider. Super Conducting Five. Super Collider. Yes, you got super twice That's in that super. one. Yeah. Super, super. You got extra supers. There you yes. go. Five, and Dreadnought. Yes. Uh, dubious spelling, but we're clear on the pronunciation. Six. Yeah. Sea Dragon, seven, ENIAC, and hopefully we don't have to know what that stands for. Eight, 1890. Nine, Big Dog. Ten, Anic. Anticathera. Yes. Anticathera. Yeah. Anticathera. Yeah. So there was an island named Kithera and another one across the street was cut called Anticathera, and the shipwreck was found by Anticathera. <laughs> Well, I'm grateful to you teammates because I would have known, I would have guessed at one of these and I think it's right. So which I have a witch, I have a witch hat. Zero. Zippo. Yeah. I look like I have a witch hat on. I'm useless here. <laughs> but if I turn You're my head, I was, Faith. I, my I've heard of 10. I wouldn't have been able to come up with its name, but I've heard of it. I couldn't have come up with any of these on my own. Wait, I'll get you my year. pretties. We could, it might not have been the right year, but it would have been a year. Fun and with hats. With I won't Bellinger. be able to sleep tonight because I'll be talking about the Stalin goose. The Stalin goose. The Stalin goose. Bye, everybody. Can you say lighthouses? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. For us. Our team is. Ooh, this is going to be a big swing then. Yeah, it is. We, okay. we decided Rob had all of these answers. <laughs> I knew quite a bit of them, but Jamie knew a lot of them. Jamie knew a hell of a lot of them. Okay. Hang in there, Troy uh, or Rue, whatever you like to be called, because the next one could be, you know, the 10 most popular fruits. Oh, you know, are you, you're, you're going to get them all, Karen. I'm up next. You see my background. You're going to get them all. Right. You're going to get them all. Where's Where's Rob? Oh, there you are. Oh, it's Oh, it's music related or something performance related. The concert. Really cool. we, uh, it's always good. better to have Karen on your team when it's music related categories. <laughs> She's got a member. Karen, go. Yeah, sure. Romero. Karen yeah, or Kevin? I can go. Use your right. Use your outside voice. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm going to start uh, a slight thing to show the answers. So machines. So the first one uh, is the SR seventy one. Yay, Ben! Yes. Yeah. So that's the picture of the plane. It's pretty yeah, cool my favorite plane. Cool looking thing. That is very cold. Hi, Deborah. The Hi, next Susan. one is uh, <laughs> the Buran orbiter. Wow. Oh. See, um, just, about... Well, I would certainly count just Buran is correct. Buran. I, yeah, I, I count just, Buran I tell, is correct as well. Oh, I want to tell a quick story. I was on the Buran. About, we got to yeah, write a Wikipedia about, page for Jamie. He was in space on the Buran. I was, was in space. A, was since it was, they think there was nobody on it. He was really a stove. I was actually. <laughs> were you hanging on the on the landing gear? Yeah. No, about eight years ago, my wife and I were in Moscow. And what happened was when Baran was discontinued, it was like a three or four billion dollar spacecraft. What they did with it, they took it and they put it into Gorky Park, which is in the middle of Moscow, and made it into a kitty ride. And so for a couple, 
So for a couple of rubles, what you do, you give a couple of rubles, they open up the cargo compartment, and you sit on a wooden chair and they show you a movie of the spacecraft taking off. And this babushka, this old Russian woman stands behind you and she shakes your chair. <laughs> did, she, did she make noises like? <laughs> but, but she was the same. She was the same old lady that was cleaning the toilets that was right in front of the. She wash wall. her hands in between. I, I, I was gonna make a comment, but if she's cleaning toilets, I don't think I want to tell you what I thought she might no. be doing. No. <laughs> when Rob spoke of her making the noises, I said I was gonna say, and she reached around and grabbed your cheeks and pulled them back towards her. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. For, for, for G forces. That's our That's our That's our Baron experience. That's wow. really good. I love Burn. the old lady shaking your chair. That's hilarious. Talk about yep. giving people jobs. That's job creation. Those rush. Jimmy was on the wing, banging on the window. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so here's a the American space shuttle next to the Soviet yep. space shuttle. Yeah, it's not much different. <laughs> no. What are you talking exactly. about? They totally came up with that design all on their own. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next one is the Antonov oh, AM oh, Jamie. Oh, and it's of, it's not, and it's not, this, it's not they only made one. If we said Anatov, one of these play, and that's it, is that okay? Antonov, yeah, if you say Antonov, that's fine. Oh, wow, look at that that all those wheels. What and, if you yeah, said so this, the Stalin goose? <laughs> the Stalin goose is, uh, is not correct. You know, but at Antonov. Is Stalin and Nov is goose? You just, you don't know your Russian. Well, what if your wife said it? <laughs> what if your wife said it, Ramiro? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll get back to you on that one. Oh, is that uh, is that what they use to carry the Buran? Yeah, they, that's what they use to carry the Buran. And that, I think that might be one of the uses that it was designed for. Mm. But then the Soviet broke oh. up, and it was uh, I guess you, the Ukraine. Uh, it was in Ukraine's possession, and then when the Ukrainian war started, the Russians uh, destroyed it. They didn't put it in a park. So they they not, have yeah. an old lady behind. <laughs> 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 lady, old lady, old lady pushing that thing right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. All right. It would, so the. It sort of makes sense for Ukraine to try to hire hire that out to anybody who wanted to move something really big yeah, yeah. that's right yeah uh, putin's table yeah uh, <laughs> number four yeah so number four is the superconducting super collider that's a is it okay if we just tunnel. said the particle collider yeah Ooh. no that's it's a very specific name superconducting super collider oh, oh. Really? oh the ssc yeah because the collider, like there's several colliders. Yeah, but there was only one that was tried to be built and then failed because of that reason. It was this one, hard. this one is. Yeah, so you have you have to know the name for that one. Uh, All right, Rob, who wouldn't let false binary for false dichotomy? Oh, shut up. Karma's <laughs> <laughs> coming back at you, Rob. Karma always does. What they say. All right. Um, mm. Yeah, it's a lot of money to spend. There's a good documentary on YouTube by this YouTuber called Bobby Broccoli that explain you know what all the politics of what happened to that. All right, uh, number five is the French ironclad lawyer. Oh, uh, and uh, yeah, so it was basically just a wooden ship with uh, metal plates attached to it. And it's on somebody's what, table. What what if what if we had it misspelled wrong and had it spelled G L O R I E? That's fine. Give it to him. Give it to him. He's an American. He can't do French. I'll go with whatever he says. I think that uh we've been lenient on spelling in, in our trivia. So yeah, I think uh okay. Uh, I will go with That's it. Close enough. So um, so when was that? Oh, I think, let me see, this was, um, let me pull it up, uh, 17 middle, something. Of the, middle of the 19th century. Yeah, 19th but century. I mean, was it before the Civil War? 
Yeah, it was before the Civil War. Right. Mm -hmm. and, the, uh, and the Monitor and Merrimack this... weren't really ocean going anyway. That's what I was wondering also. If, the, yeah. if I thought Monitor, but I didn't know if it was ocean going. So this was this was launched in 1859. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Some time for the signal. Yeah, that came up in our uh, room too, the monitor and that, and, and uh, whether it was ocean going. So. Yeah. So it, it had sails and steam, and at first I thought like, wow, that's that's unusual. But I, then I read that uh, that was common. For ships well, the, the Merrimack, or not the, the Merrimack, that the, the monitor the Merrimack when they had that was uh was like that the uh the, the yeah, that's, what, that's what we put we put monitor. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the the next one number six is the Sea Dragon. Yes, so you can Yay. see that it's a pretty big rocket. Here's uh the Saturn V GM. next to the Sea Dragon. Very good. And then this is the SpaceX rocket. So you can see that it's bigger than that one. Mm. All right. Wow. Uh, if anyone wants to see the launch, just go on YouTube and say Sea Dragon launch. They used wow. it as the final post credit scene on the first season of For All Mankind on Apple. Yep. But it's oh. on, you can see that on YouTube. When I first watched that and I saw, oh, I said, this is such bullshit. They were so good with technology. Why'd they make this shit up? And then I looked, oh no, this was real. They were going to do this. There's a Wikipedia wow. article. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, the next one is ENIAC. Yay. Next one. Uh, <laughs> wow. There's some uh, for that. programmers programming the computer. Anybody know what ENIAC stands for? Uh, I, used to. Uh, I don't. But C is I mean, for computer. You don't have to. A is analog. <laughs> Electronic <laughs> something something. Electronic analog. numerical integrator and computer. There so do we have more oh, processing power okay. or more pro, uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You're oh, probably, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. probably more in your wristwatch. There's probably so more processing power in your LED light bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a totally. calculator would have more. Your coffee maker. Oh, yeah. my God. Do you, do you know where the photo on the left came from? Like, where is that on mm -hmm. display? This is, uh, it came from Wikipedia. But from Arrow's uh, basement. <laughs> it's uh, in uh, we Port don't Sale, have a Oklahoma. That you know of. That's what they all say. <laughs> Where the Antioch is secretly located. Mm. He's doing that Zero. from your face. That's Sorry. The, that's they, the don't, they don't of, know you'd have a Dexter's laboratory if we had a base. That's the stage <laughs> of lab. And you'd be like, no, fit. you're not allowed in my laboratory. No. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's the stage of lapping. Lily Tomlin's going one ringy dingy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so then, next thing is uh, 1881. Ooh. All right. Oh. Oh. Not enough. Oh. 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 oh, that was it. That was it. Our plus or minus ten. It by a few years. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And that's the the inventor. He was. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess like is that rechargeable batteries battery? have been recently invented. Huh? Is that lead acid no. batteries? Yeah, no, uh -huh. probably. Yes. Or I think it is okay. lead acid batteries. Uh, That's great. I love that. The man, that is amazing. Look at the dog. The bit of trivia <laughs> that goes with this is having a dog chasing it was necessary <laughs> for it all to work. <laughs> and one in the front too. It became a problem. <laughs> That's a great, great illustration. Yep. All right. Uh, next one is Go Big Dog. Ooh, oh, uh, oh, we started. Any Mitchell? No, oh, sorry, team. Talk to you after that. Yep. So, yeah. so Boston, big, Di Boston Dynamics robot would that count? Uh, no, because they have several robots. Uh, you know, so I, I know, but, not, this, not but, but we knew there was only one they were carrying into battle. So I mean, <laughs> no, no, I can't argue that point. <laughs> we put they have to be, they robotic have to be dog. specific because they have Atlas who will. It is what great guys have problem. Problem. What poor poor guy's dog. problem? <laughs> yeah. so mean to that poor dog. Yeah. This is why <laughs> the robots are going to revolt eventually. Have you seen what they do to Atlas? Yes, I don't like it. There's no intelligence in it. Oh, it's so sad. That is just so cool. <laughs> it's but it's interesting Can you move to the next one? I'm yeah. tired of seeing the dog be pushed. I am too. <laughs> okay. tired. Like, I'm getting so black. I don't like dogs. I'm into it. 
Antikythera mechanism. I don't know yeah. if I'm pronouncing that. Do we get correctly. bonus points for spelling it correctly? <laughs> and uh, you probably should, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, unfortunately, no, because if it's close Antikythera. to this. Yeah. Is he is smoking a pipe at the top there? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, I think so, yeah. Totally getting high. Oh, yeah, so this one <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> Smoking a bowl. Uh, that thing on the right is the bowl. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Very good, Romero. Great Thanks job. Good round, Romero. That was fun. Good, round. good job. Good. good job, team. Making sure to keep my brother in last place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go with our with our scores. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. After 11 votes, our group failed to elect a speaker, so we could not proceed to choosing a name. What is your score? Two. All right. You are in the lead. <laughs> we will pause right here for that moment. And enjoy enjoy it. it. Sure. Okay. I know who the speaker is of my house. I have us with four. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you have doubled the score. Number three. No team name after 11 votes. Three. Uh, nine. What? 39. Nine. Somewhere in there. Nine. No. You're, hated. you're hated your whole team is hated now <laughs> you were, did, did you get points for the dog uh, oh, i assume we missed. didn't get the quadruped robotic dog oh oh quadruped <laughs> dog all right pat paulson for house speaker Bill Kong. Um, oh it, it was that us no pat oh, paulson five. yeah five Okay, Bill. Right? Bill Connors, is that you? For house speaker. Eight. 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 Oh my god! I participated in room one, which was the Bill Connors. Wow. And, and did you didn't nothing. help us at all. I, didn't, didn't. <laughs> wow. I just said, uh huh, so uh huh. So let's, let's, give, let's give Susan credit where it applies. She didn't hurt you. She did I, not I, try to talk us out of any correct answers. So thank good you. job, thank Susan. You, Aaron, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. For a, a round of applause. <laughs> yes, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Okay, so great job, Romero. Good fun category. And a lot of machines out there we could still do. All right, Robert. Okay, well. You're at. We'll see how we do on this. Category machine. Take a break after the second category, by the way. Time traveling machines. Not that you can't just get out of your chair. Time, Time traveling machines. Is that a dildo behind you, Wendy? What is that? Yeah, it is. No. <laughs> incense. I oh, like oh, a little weird. God. I mean, we what does it smell like? It's, it's, it's in smell honor like. of the it's, it's in honor of the town that Adrian had in her question. She knits the size. She knits this little outfits for the dildo. Looks a little thin. You're making yeah, this better. Very interesting. <laughs> your your your, your, your dildo smells like dildo leche. That's what it's supposed to be. So, Susan, now when you upload this to YouTube, you have to, have to answer the question Is this for children? You'll have to say no. I always say it's not for children every time. <laughs> not for children. It All right. Is the, definitely not for children. The category is You would think that would get more people in watching it. It would. would think. That's the strategy. Okay, Rob. All right. We did uh, in November, we did Queens. So, this is going to be Kings of Music. Okay. Interesting. Right. We did Queens of Music on uh, the 10th of October, and the average score was a little higher than this last round, 6.2, with a, a very narrow range. Teams got five to seven. I looked it up. So uh, hopefully you'll do better than that with the yeah, Kings. We'll like see. Numbers. I'm going to give you the honorific nickname or nicknames, and you answer with someone who has been called these things in the media. Hey, Jerry. Okay, I'm gonna mute in three, two, and one. Mute. Okay, so number one, the king of rock and roll. There are six possibilities, according to the Wikipedia article where I got these, which is called honorific nicknames in popular music, duh. 
Number two is King of Jazz. And there are two possibilities. Number three, King of the Blues. Also, the mayor of Bluesville. One, only one possibility for that. In fact, all the rest of these are only one possibility, one correct answer. Number four, King of Glam Rock, the master of reinvention, the Picasso of pop. One person was called all of those things. Number five, the king of hip hop, the king of rap, and the rap god. Number six, the king of pop, the prince of pop, the president of pop. Can't make up their minds. Number seven, I my bet is this going to be the easiest one. The king of pop, the gloved one. Number eight. William Shatner. I don't get it. Okay. Number eight, the king of K-pop, the prince princes of pop, Korean pop titans. So clearly that's plural, that's a group. Number nine, king of parody. And number 10, the king of Chicano rock. That's it, that's all you get. Any questions? Nope, it's, people are probably coming up with some really bad puns right now. For, okay, go to your rooms. Right, good job. Do I have to put anybody in rooms that left rooms? Looks like everybody's there. I'll see you in room two. Okay. Who's hey, who Susan. Besides the Michael Jackson one. That's all I know. Well, number one is isn't Elvis Presley. Number one. Yeah, number one's Elvis Presley. Yeah, Elvis Presley. Oh, thanks. It's well, it could, yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, Elvis. It's Elvis. Oh, so Brandy, you're taking notes? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, Elvis, number one. King of Jazz. That's um, Duke Gallington, Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker, maybe. Yeah. Well, I, I, first thought of, I, don't know. I first thought of Duke Ellington, but. Duke Ellington is a good choice. I mean, it might, it might be. Better. Between those two, though, maybe I don't know. Well, isn't Charlie? Is huh? Charlie, Charlie Parker my bird? Yeah, bird. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. What was that? Um, Charlie Parker was he nicknamed Bird. There's a story there, mm -hmm. but I won't tell you now. If we get through oh. these, oh, that's not one of our answers, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, who was yeah. the name of that, well, that famous? Can... Who's that famous? That trumpeter, that very famous jazz trumpeter. Satchmo. Um, oh, Louis Armstrong? Yeah. Louis Armstrong. Armstrong. Oh, Louis Armstrong. Three. 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 Or which number? I see. Are we yeah, still on he's... two or three? Yeah. We're still on yeah. two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Two. Yeah, that was Louis... my first thought was Satchmo. Satchmo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one again. Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. I, oh, I, how could I forget Louis Armstrong? I just didn't know if he was really considered jazz or not. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 He, his career goes thing. back to the twenties. His career yeah. from from the twenties to the seventies. Yeah. Bob, why is your picture not on? Rob said my sound was breaking up. I'll I'll try it. Over. Okay. And if I if it sounds choppy, let me know and I'll turn it off. Okay. Okay. Which one are we on? Four. Uh, number three. three. King of, King of Blue. Who's Blues? Um, BB King. BB King. Yeah, I B. Was B. Say yeah, I put yeah, I put BB King. That makes sense. Definitely. Glam rock. Uh, for Bo Bowie. Bowie. David Bowie. David Bowie. Not He's glam rock. Didn't he pretty much start it? I have no idea, to be honest with you. 
<laughs> I was thinking like the twisted sister guy, <laughs> but I don't oh, really. Think Snyder, he, no. he would, yeah, I don't think he Snyder would. Snyder came after Bowie, but I was thinking the reinvention. Glam rock. Yeah. The master of reinvention yeah, is the one that keeps getting me. But Bowie, like every styles. every yeah. album, he changed. He changed, you know, styles. He changed. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. I think I think David Bowie's a good. I choice. like that. I like that. I'm yeah. just throwing out Iggy Pop. Just just throwing it there. Doesn't mean you have to pick yeah. it up. I think that's good. That's um, yeah. yeah. Five. Can you do five? Yeah. Can that be Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg. King of hip hop. King of rap. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't Not P Diddy. <laughs> Like or even uh, Kanye, it. Kanye West. Why? Why did you say that? Um, Before yeah. he's more musical. He's I don't know. I thought Snoop Dogg was called the King of Rap. Was okay. he? Okay. I don't know. Let's go with that. We we met All him right. in Las Vegas. He, he was playing. He was playing one of the slot machines in Vegas. So we met him. We talked to him. Did you go up to his chair behind him and rattle the chair a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, did you tell him the Baran story? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Okay. King, King of Pop? Um, could that be Prince? He's not Michael Jackson. Prince of Pop, President of Pop, King of Pop. I don't think I ever heard Prince yeah. call that. Yeah, Prince was always like the purple one or something, but yeah, oh, that's true. I was going to say, yeah, Jack, if it's Jack, not, that's seven. I mean, my first thought was Michael Jackson, and then number seven came up, and I went, oh, yeah, well, maybe not. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I did the same thing. Would it be, well, I don't know, is Will Smith? No. I don't think so. I don't think he was flat. around enough. Fresh Prince of Bel Bel Air. No, yeah, because he went into yeah, he had a short career, but then he went into yeah. acting. This yeah. is somebody who's stuck yeah, now with he's, it. And yeah, now he's really king of slap. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, somebody mentioned Prince, but I mean, I don't know if he was ever, I don't remember him being called that. Prince but is, I don't know. I wouldn't call, yeah, I wouldn't, he, I wouldn't call him pop. He's more artistic stuff. You know, he's, yeah, he's pop is, is more of, Strikes me as more of a shallow approach to it. President, <laughs> I mean, president of pop, who is it? It's catchy, you know, easily. Yeah, it's. So I don't know. Pop, he, he's not Michael Jackson. Billy Joel? <laughs> Gotta be in there somewhere. That's not pop. That's. Could what about British. the that piano player guy that's all fancy all the time? What's his name again? I can't Elton remember John? his name. Elton John. Yeah, what about Elton, him? Elton John. Oh, that's a good that's a possibility. Elton John. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. He's gotta be something. Yeah. Maybe he's the master of reinvention, but he's always been kind of the same, huh? Uh, yeah, that's... and I never would have thought of his glam rock. Uh, oh yeah, you. that's true. <laughs> this is gotta be definitely that, not glam rock. Eight has gotta be that BTS, right? Oh yes, that's what it was. Oh, called. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Is uh -huh. that their name? I BTS. am good for you because I would have never gotten it. Oh my yeah, god. Nine is yeah. weird Al. I, I want you guys all be my weird. Weird Al is nine. And, and then oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chicano Rock. Weird Al. Chicano yeah. Rock. What's Chicano um, Rock? That's like Latino. Yeah, but what would be? There was someone they just did a movie about. Could it be Daddy Yankee? Who? Daddy Yankee. That's my favorite. My favorite group. They're um, to Puerto uh, Rican. Daddy Yankee Ricky is Martin. a famous. Oh, Ricky Martin. Oh, Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Ricky yeah, Martin. I thought Ricky Valens first, but Ricky Martin maybe. Ricky Martin. Yeah, Ricky He's Martin. A very so. Americanized name. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Martina but if you never heard of yeah. you never heard of Daddy Yankee, you should listen to Daddy Yankee. It's my favorite group. When we were in um, 
spent a lot of time in Puerto Rico and we were obsessed with Daddy Yankee. I'll put, are you, I'll put are it you good? Are we good? Do we think it's, the... Well, do we think it's Ricky Valens or R Ricky Martin? Ricky Martin. Martin. Oh, oh but, Ricky Martin. Yeah, Ricky Valens. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't around long enough. He had a very short career. He died. Yeah. He's um he's yeah. local to me. Yeah. Ricky Valens. I think Ricky Martin was a good choice. Okay. Who is the La Bamba guy? Was that one of these? That's That's La Bamba. Ricky, Ricky, that was Ricky, Ricky Val Valens. Yeah, Valens. Oh, okay. Ricky Valens How are we doing? in Venezuela. How are we doing? His, his sister was I think we're uh, good. Was, the only uh, team professor. that's not sharing a screen with answers, so I can't. You don't have it, so too bad. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> I think you I hear the, you'll have to know when we get. Can I hear the Charlie Parker story? Okay, you got uh, 116 seconds. Okay, they they would the groups would the, the jazz bands would travel around, especially if you were African American. You traveled around in cars. You couldn't use public transportation, so they'd all get in the car and they'd drive from gig to gig. And a lot of times they couldn't stay in hotels, so they would stay, they would have a, a, a family that they could stay with. So they were driving through a rural area and the car hit, these chickens were out in the road and they, he killed two of them. And Charlie said, stop the car. And they got the chickens and then they took them to the house and he gave them to the lady of the house who was hosting them for the night. And he said, hey, cook me these chickens. So she dressed them out and everything and gave them to him and he ate both of them didn't share with anybody <laughs> so they call they call um, yard birds you know chickens yard chickens yard birds so they called him yard bird shortened to bird that's what how he got the name again? Again? yard this? bird Char Charlie you guys Park. real quick for number two did we go with duke ellington or louis armstrong I think, I think Louis, Louis Armstrong. Armstrong. I think Armstrong. There, it was a couple because there were a couple options. The first two had multiple options. Okay. Right. All right. So after that, it narrowed down to one per. Yeah. So I think. So Louis I got, Armstrong. Yeah, I think Louis Armstrong. He's awful. He's awful important. He's. Uh, let me read I him real quick. The name of the person you were doing the story about. Huh. The guy. Charlie who's Parker. Well, we, we suggested Charlie Parker until. Um, Jamie brought up Louis Armstrong, and I thought, oh, yeah. No, 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 the Armstrong. story you just told about the chickens. <laughs> yeah. It's Char Charlie Parker. Oh, it was Charlie Bird. Parker. I they called him of Bird. Of he had a, there was a club named after him called Birdland. He got banned from it. He was just so drugged out and, and just. Media. Okay, I would have known nothing, so that's good. Well, you probably would have known <laughs> at least a couple of. King of Rock. You know, King of Rock. Hey Rob. Hello. Hey Rob. Yeah, who's that? Well, Apparently I certainly didn't make much of a contribution on that one. <laughs> Apparently, we're being recorded. Just I heard, I heard rumors to that effect. Yes. I don't believe it. I don't see no. any proof of it. Oh well. I've never seen a recording. <laughs> yeah. I, I just I just went over to YouTube and checked, and I do not see a recording of this. I don't think mm -hmm. it's being recorded. We're on we're on oh. King Records. Mm. Troy watched it last week or a few days ago, so I know it is. <laughs> well, well, yeah, do you believe? Do you believe him though? Because they watched I, it. I watched the I watched the results of last Thursday because I left before you gave the the results, so I found out that we were in next to last place, not last place. That was good. Oh. <laughs> so, All right, uh, let's go. Troy is our her. This is going to be fast. I don't have a slideshow. I'm just going to give you the names. Uh, okay. um, so number one, King of Rock and Roll. This was the most uh, likely somebody would get because there were six possible answers. Alan Freed, Bill Haley, Chuck Berry, Fats Domino, Little Richard, and Elvis Presley. Were they ever alive at the same time? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. They all were. Well, that's not fair. You only have one king at a time. For number who? two. <laughs> Well, they had a whole world over it. Number yeah. two is a king, <laughs> king of jazz. Uh, was either this guy I'd never heard of, Paul Whitman, or Louis Armstrong. Oh God! Oh, oh dude. Whitman <laughs> oh, had a big. I, I, I let you talk right me there. out of it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right Sorry. Number three, the king of blues, the mayor of Bluesville. I heard several groups getting this one. This should be. Oh, I put the I put the uh, question in. This is BB King. Yeah, King King. Oh, right. Lucille. 
Anna yeah. Roll. Okay, put that in there. BB King. Number four. So this was, I didn't hear anybody get it. We'll see. Um, Bowie? This, this is, um, four was the king of glam rock, the master of reinvention, the Picasso of pop, and somebody just said it, David Bowie. David Bowie. Yeah, we yeah. got that. Yeah, 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 we yeah we David it. Bowie. Okay. All right. Number five. I actually did not hear anyone get this one. Maybe they said it when I was out of the room. The not king of hip hop. The king of rap. <laughs> The rap god, very presumptuous. Eminem. I said it, dang it. Well, we oh. talked ourselves out of it. Yeah, we, we did too. We I didn't did think too. We didn't be happy enough to go so for did it. me. Uh, I and, thought, yeah. uh, so number there six is the one that really surprises me because I would never have thought of it. Uh, the king of pop, the prince of pop, the oh, president gosh. of pop, Justin Timberlake. Oh, oh we almost, we've had this almost got that. Will you go with Justin Bieber? <laughs> no. <laughs> the first thing they're doing. No. <laughs> well, but well, Justin what Trudeau. If, what if we just answered Justin? Then, no. then would that count? No. <laughs> we flipped the <laughs> co we flipped the coin and it came up tails. Oh, yeah, Justin. Oh, it was Justin Guarini oh, was our guess. I only yeah. have this with question. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. King of Pop, the gloved one. Any team that didn't get this should lose a point. Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> You Timberlake. forfeit the whole round. That's right. Number eight. Um, love, I've only heard love. of these people because of some previous uh, category questions about them. This is the uh, eight is the king of K-pop, the princes of pop, the Korean pop titans. That is BTS. Yes. Bang Tang Boys. Thank you. Thank you, you all. We have a recording that says I actually got that one. <laughs> hey, Thank you, Karen. I just want you all to know yeah. I can You're help. Welcome. It is possible. So you listen to K-pop, Susan? No, I just like social things. I mean, social history, and they're they're really interesting. Teach you about baby metal? No, I'm not. <laughs> but it, but it is interesting. They're interesting. Number nine. Phenomenal. Everybody Number definitely nine. should have got this. We've had tons of categories where this person's name came up. This is Weird Al. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's that's well. Let's see. Number one and number nine was the only one where I was able to guess at make the correct guess. You did so well on machines, Jim. And so you're fine. finally, you're carrying your weight. I did not hear anybody get this. At least when I was there, they put the wrong one down. After saying the right name, the king of Chicano rock is Richie Valens. Yeah. Oh. oh no. yeah. It has Should have went older. Was outvoted. Oh, Only no. me and Kyle. For God's um, sake, uh, the, the guy is from ten miles from here. Yeah, oh, so I was telling him. I tried. I tried. Well, that doesn't mean he's the right answer. He only had two hits, but he was early on in rock and roll. That's why they call him the king. Yeah. Oh. Die young, you're immortal. Yeah. By the way, uh, number two, I'd actually heard of Paul Waitman because yeah, I think he. I think he tried to do a fair bit of crossover, and he think I think he he commissioned he stuff a, from people like Gershwin and uh, uh, um, he had a Rose. very popular band, and a lot of uh, people who went on to have solo careers went through his band. But yeah, he just he was okay. then it was yeah it was an enormous band. Everybody loved it. It did had huge gigs and all this stuff yeah. so yeah all right well, let's see if you guys did better than the uh for all the right, queens so of music which was an average of 6.2 let's see what you did i think we dun, did. Dun, I, dun. Think so. I think it's really well eminem oh. has some oh man that's justin timberlake testicles to say that <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're going with the low score tell us how you really feel <laughs> after 11 years our group failed to elect a speaker so we could not proceed to choosing a name what you got seven there you go. Yeah. yeah. I, no. Hey, then I knew who the speaker of my house. Seven. Okay. And then let's go Pat Paulson for house speaker. Seven. Well, oh. I see an average. <laughs> there should be a pattern here, yeah. Phil <laughs> Connors for house speaker? Well, I wouldn't want to disrupt the pattern. So seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and Your seven game after 11. Really? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you gotta oh, be go to the really? quest round of voting. Seven. What's no, the wow. average? <laughs> yeah. I can figure out that average. 
happened? Totally Has that ever happened? Time. It's, it's, it's because all our team names are the same. That's so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 the same. Never it's it's all, is it all for you? The same question that we all got wrong. <laughs> Didn't move the needle. I love it. Do you guys remember? Do you guys we remember? know each other too well? Do you guys remember the gift that uh, Green <laughs> got me? For my birthday? Yeah, with yes. Weird Al Yankovic? Weird Al Yankovic. Yes, the Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, I'll never yeah, forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, All right, good. so yeah. we're going to take a picture. Photo. Photo, everybody, look your best. Oh, yeah. you grab your chicken. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah. Grab your chicken. Oh, I forgot my chicken. Susan, is that a, a, a euphemism? Oh. <laughs> All I wish is just crafts. a weird uh, uh, craft. Uh, uh, okay, everybody look. Ready? ready? <laughs> Grab your incense. Okay, one. Grab your dildo. <laughs> two. Three. Let's see if I got it. Okay, we got everybody. Cool. Okay, so we're going to take a 15, we're going to take a five minute break. Five minutes. And then come back with our announcements and we'll continue on. Okay. Bye, y'all. I'm going to. Uh, well, what if it's yeah. something really important? How could you leave us? Hi, Jim. Thank you for acing that category. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Bye. Jim. Good to see you Thank again. You. Yeah. Yeah. See you next week, I guess. Hi, Jim. Or maybe not next week. It's going to be people called Jim as the next category. Yeah. Oh. And it's Jim's. Oh. Okay. So I found the um I found a photo of the famous Baran that's in the Gorky Park. Okay. That's the wait. See, it's right there. I want to see the woman in the back that shakes her chair. <laughs> yeah. I gotta find that. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Mark? Yeah. So Mark's gonna come by and say hi. So you talk and where hi. are you going? Hi, gang. Hey. Hi. How you doing, Mark? What's going on? I like your toque. My suit? Your toque. Oh, my toque. Your hat. It's Canadian for hat. I. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I bought this when I was in Edinburgh. Show us a magic <laughs> trick. <laughs> okay, ready? Change. <laughs> I can pull Mark? my thumb off, see? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not really prepared. And besides, magic doesn't work on television for me. I think there's there's too much going that can go on all around here. You know. Yep. All around the outside, it, it's got to be one on one to re really be really good. Did she tell you about the uh, card trick I showed her earlier? No. No. It was great. I haven't done it in maybe ten years or something, <clears throat> and it worked. <laughs> I'm happy to say. <laughs> and she's like trying to figure it out. I'm like, I'm not going to tell you. So just know, you know, if you get, I, my whole thing is if you get close, I might tell you, but I'm talking about that card trick. Yeah. I showed you. That was really a good card trick. Oh my gosh. He, he it's hard to fool me. Or at least it's hard to figure for me. So what's the part. trick? What, what, no, no, describe it's it. Me. It's hard to fool me that I can't figure out where it, where it was with what happened and he fooled me i i thought i saw describe it describe the trick so maybe we've heard of it no 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 you'll have to come and see it kevin come on over no i can't i can't describe it because it's just it's not a standard trick i've never seen it before it's one of the one of the tricks i did that finally got me uh to be a performer at the magic castle and that was a long time ago wow i've like, never seen him before 1975 so i've been doing it for a few years but i now that I'm retired, I have more time to remember things. So, and luckily my memory is still working because I remembered how to do it. Uh, it there was a little bit off, but it no, wasn't, no, it wasn't I didn't too see it. I saw one little uh, thing. And I just, I try good. not to do card tricks because card tricks, no matter what you say about <laughs> it, they still look like card tricks, <laughs> you know? And it doesn't really have a lot to do with mentalism, which is what I prefer. <gasps> Oh, but, Carolyn, 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 are you there? I'll see Carolyn. Oh, darn it, Carolyn. Why, she had a question? No, she's gone. She's doing a rewrite of a Wikipedia page for her training, and it's somebody you might know. Um, well, 
That's his name is he's he's at the um our, 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 he has a weird name, Lloyd. L O Lloyd Auerbach. Yeah, it's him. She's oh, writing, yeah, I know Lloyd. She's writing, writing his Wikipedia page. She's she's not there right now. She's she's in the room with the library up there. I know some great stories about Lloyd Auerbach. Oh my god. Well she she's not here to hear him. So he's another person who <laughs> plays both sides of the fence. Don't say another person. But I won't say anything room. else. So I'll take give you back to Susan. <laughs> there, there was a uh, Mark, there was a comedian recently who did a joke about magicians. Yeah. And he said he said the joke was something like uh the the magician is is the smartest person in the room. And then the comedian said that's because all your fans are fans of magic. <laughs> Everybody who comes to see you is a fan of magic. And no, so the way that, he says but... it it's pretty funny. Who was the magician's person always the that? smartest person in the room? The smartest person. Well, well, that's the joke. It's, it, the magician says he's always the smartest one in the room. And yeah. then the comedian says that's because everybody's a fan of magic. Yeah. Loves to see him. I Unfortunately, I can attest to the fact that a lot of people are not fans of magic. But they're not going to show up at your show. But, yeah, they, they don't show up at the show. That That's the thing. Well, if it's free, they do, you know. <laughs> free drink. Yeah, that's true. I've, I've done some private parties where people, I would be like, would you like to see some magic? And they're like, not really. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I mean, we we, they've even we hired stuff a like, guy. I hate magic, you know? We hired a guy who someone said was great. He was supposed to hypnotize everybody. There yeah. was 300 people at the company party and not one person would go up on stage oh, to be hypnotized. And so that's the person just started doing card tricks and juggling and stuff. And they were supposed to be really good at the hypnotism jokes and stuff, but nobody wanted to participate. It was just well, like- I can see that. There, most most hip hypnotism shows are can be very embarrassing for the participants. There's Carolyn right there. Carolyn. No one wanted to do it. Carolyn, where is she? We're just like <laughs> Top row yeah, with the books. Oh, hi, Carolyn. So you're hi. writing something about Lloyd Auerbach? We're being recorded, Maybe. Mark. Oh, got to go then. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just I just shared something from Facebook. Oh, if you haven't seen adorable. this, did you, say, did you say this? I thought this oh, was a group funny. that would appreciate this. This was posted yes. on Facebook, and the idea was to put the best caption and if you look down here, you can see some of the captions, but the best one, because there were hundreds of see, the captions, trees but, can like that. but the best one, in my opinion, was, sorry, I just did a line of catnip and I don't remember anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that other one that's a little lower, the one about the, I didn't know, yeah, sorry, yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know they could faint like that. I've seen one like that, but it's the dog with the Christmas tree, and the caption is, Thank God you're here. The tree fainted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my cats don't have anything to do with it. They take my cats are so boring. They're sleeping right here. Sleep and sleep. Just that's all well, they they're do. Old. They're a little bit elderly now. Oh, are you giving them enough they're drugs, like, Susan? No, no drugs. Well, there yeah, is more see, uh, then they'll bounce off the walls. Well, sort of. That's true. <laughs> All right, so we're back. So, um, hey, Kyle, I hear you have a podcast that maybe maybe something interesting might be happening on. Is that true? Often is, but not this week because I took a week off. <laughs> oh. You can take a week off. Ah, you can, you can not do something for a while. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start up our new season all around survey data starting next Monday, but took a pass this week so if you want to catch up on board games that's my most recent we do an analysis on uh the success of board games that are kickstarted oh. other than that wait till oh. next week i'm missing that one i will have to catch up i am one. so behind on everything does it have calico in it calico it does not uh explicitly it might have been in his data set though uh, sorry i just joined kyle did you mention that your skeptical inquire article from the past has been picked up by uh, other media oh i didn't but thank you for that yeah in fact uh, uh people still go missing and therefore the missing 411 conspiracy perpetuates 
Oh no. Does that mean they're going to come back and look at the YouTube and make a bunch of weird comments again? Most yeah, likely. Yeah. David has a new movie out. The oh, UFO dear. connection. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> These people, they just never, ever go away. So <laughs> Kyle did a, Kyle did an article. Well, he did a talk for Monterey County skeptics years ago. Gosh, it's been years now. And yeah. uh, it's nine 11. No. 411 missing people, conspiracy theory, people go missing in state parks, therefore something. Right. <laughs> therefore yeah, something, that's about it. Yeah. He never really <laughs> says. And and I thought, what the hell are you talking about? This is so stupid. And Don't you amazing. think it's strange? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think it's strange that four people out of 10 had a name with a B in it? <laughs> <laughs> So that's the kind of thing that he does it's, it's called missing 411 it's conspiracy theory by this guy and his he is always the, the wikipedia stuff associated with it oh my gosh they and the people get so upset they do when the, editor, the people get how dare you put this on his wikipedia page he's a good man and he's written books and well and and, 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 and conspiracy and the, and they get all upset because you try to debunk the, the idea that their their person that disappeared had to have been disappeared by some conspiracy. It's like, wh what does that matter? It's they well, disappeared. Sure. That's what you should be focused on. Not I looked like, at all the others, but I didn't look at the one that they're interested in. Yeah. It's only yeah. 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 Oh, it's crazy. Well, they take it so personally, and there must be some name for that phenomenon. <laughs> I'm phenomenon. Being human. <laughs> that's something a little less broad <laughs> I, I heard that i think it was from adrian so i just want to say ma, 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 na, na. <laughs> adrian do you know what's happening anything happening on the skeptic <clears throat> this week yeah the one of the things we're doing actually rob palmer and richard and myself are looking into the top 10 Wikipedia pages for the Wiki Projects Paranormal. So oh. it's kind of fun. Is it out already? This, uh, it should I'm, be out. I'm at least one week behind on everything. I haven't heard it, It'll be out on Saturday, I guess. That's when he usually releases it. <laughs> so sometime Saturday. I, uh, but yeah, it was really cool. There was some stuff I'd never even heard of in there. I think same thing, Rob, right? I mean, Rob, you, if you want to add anything. You know what the really weird thing is? I looked at the script and, and then I wrote the part that, you know, I was going to be asked to contribute. Yeah. And, and and you saw that I put the example was the the the, the haunted house, right? Yeah. I had not looked at the bottom part where that's the one he was covering. It was like that was just I randomly literally I randomly went to Wikipedia and did search. What should I search for here? Let me just search for haunted house. And that came up It's bizarre. That's I can what you're doing. It, it, it's proof of psychic ability. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No other Pretty much, yeah. Absolutely. So, um, it, Rob, do you have something else or anybody have anything else? Nope. I have um, just turned in my most recent article uh, on uh, what I did in 2023 for Wikipedia. Um, if you haven't read my article on drama in the skeptic world uh, it, that the GSOW project went through, that's how we got <laughs> Troy um joined joined after seeing that article reading that article on wikipedia oddly enough oh. and um what else we got oh i'm almost done with this book i'm almost <laughs> done with the book i'm at the point now where i'm getting it together and i'm gonna put it into one big file and ben radford's gonna read it first and tell me if it's even slightly publishable and then this weekend hopefully deborah will be there uh, we're gonna we're gonna start. Am I going? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Is this yours, Deborah? What's that? Is this yours? You brought uh, might be, yeah. Like gravy? Bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have it here to give to you on Saturday. Okay. So All right. Saturday, and then the Saturday after that, and Saturday after that, Monterey County Skeptics is starting this workshop program uh, thing, and I have no idea if I have more than three people showing up. So not that I can expect you guys to show up here in Salinas, California, but we would love to have you if you showed up. And is so anything else? I think that's it, right? Okay. I guess so. Still don't have a speaker of the house. I think they should stay all freaking night until they got one. That's what I think. I think they'd get a lot <coughs> get it done a lot faster if they had to go to four in the morning. Okay. And we're back. So Carl. So they say, 
Is that fixed? Yes. So my my category this week is TV show theme lyrics, part one. <laughs> part one. It, so it's entirely possible that one of more of the one or two of these may have come up sometime in the past. 142 trivia rounds, <laughs> but I'm not worried about it. I will I will give you some words taken from somewhere in the lyrics to a TV theme show, and you have to identify what the TV show is. And I'm gonna mute in three, two, and one. <clears throat> All right, you guys. When you're that doesn't make it easy. Okay. Number one, now the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. What might be right for you may not be right for some. A man is born, he's a man of means. Then along come two, they got nothing but their genes. Ooh, I didn't get the number. Number two, making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Number three, who can turn the world on with her smile? Who can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem worthwhile? Well, it's you girl and you should know it. Number four, there's a man who leads a life of danger. To everyone he meets, he stays a stranger. With every move he makes, another chance he takes, odds are he won't live to see tomorrow. Number five, got kind of tired of packing and unpacking. Town to town, up and down the dial. Maybe you and me were never meant to me be. But baby, think of me once in a while. Number six, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and confidant. Number seven, some walk by day, some, some walk by night, some fly by day. Nothing could change you, set and sure of the way, charming and bright, laughing and gay. Number eight, it's been a long road, getting from there to here. It's been a long time, but my time is finally near. I will see my dream come alive at last. I will touch the sky and they're not gonna hold me down no more. Number nine, this is the theme to Gary's show, the theme to Gary's show. Gary called me up and asked if I would write his theme song. I'm almost halfway finished. How do you like it so far? How do you like the theme to Gary's show? And finally, number 10, well, the names have all changed since you hung around. But those dreams have remained and they've turned around. Who'd have thought they'd lead you back to where we need you? And there we go. There are the 10 questions. Here go the rooms. nine of these i have nine of these not that's ten. great just nine. Okay. i only have six <laughs> i have nine i thought i've heard one of them before and i think the one i don't have susan has i, I heard one in the last hour <laughs> i i want to be able to say mine because i so go ahead I never know anything so okay mary tyler moore well, wait, wait what's number one wait, you've got to give the number 
Oh, I'm still copying them over. You got three is Mary yeah. Tyler Moore. And four. That's right. That's true. Is, Number three and, is Mary Tyler Moore. And, and four is Secret Agent Man. Where Number one four. is different. Who is what? Secret Agent Man? Secret Agent Man. That's the only one I didn't have. For that's which what I one? It was. Which one? Yeah. Four. Number, number four, Secret Agent he Man. He put that in there just for me. I know he did. Okay. Let's go to number one and uh, take them one at a time. You got number yeah. one, anybody? Okay, now I number I one. I have. Different now, strokes. Don't move. Yep, different strokes. But it's so not spelled just... different. It's spelled no, different, different strokes. Different without different apostrophes. Strokes. Yeah. But I don't think spelling's going to count. Different strokes. No. <laughs> you put number four in there for me. Thank you. Yes, Paul. I did. It just seems like you did this category already. You sure you didn't do part one already? No, uh, no, not like this. Okay. okay. And there's another round coming in the future that also has a, uh, a Susan question in it. <laughs> number two, I got number two. No, the smart man, you're going to get a point because you know yep. what's two number shares. two. Yeah. two I knew that one. I knew that one. You should have let me say it. Oh, okay. you should. Speak I up. Sorry. Janine so rarely knows these popular culture things. What do you know in here, Janine? Anything? Two. Number three. Susan already two? got number three. Three. Number what four. See, Susan got two number was four. Two was cheers. Cheers. Two was cheers. Who knows number five? I got number five. Four. 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 We did four. Secret Agent Man. Is that yes. the name of the show yeah. or the Secret song? Secret Agent no. Man. It was on when I was a kid. Okay, I'm like, oh. I know the song, but I didn't know if that was the name of the show. It also could be called Danger Man. Danger Man. I swear Man. we did this category before. I think he's well, made a mistake. We have, yeah. But different song. Okay, so. puts five. I know. Anybody? You know? Anybody no. else know? We did. We did. Remember, we did this. The the the, the other guy, uh, the character on his show was a question. Uh, John, Doctor Johnny, Doctor oh, Johnny. Oh, WKRP. WKRP in Cincinnati. WKRP. Yeah, really? in Cincinnati. yeah number what five. Kind of tired. Pack what is it? WKRP, WKRP in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati. They even think so of me once in a while. Remember that? I don't remember the theme song. Maybe you and me were never meant to be. Baby, think of me once in a while. On WKRP in Cincinnati. Uh huh. Okay. <clears throat> Number six. Courtship yep. Lady girls. Potter. No. What? No. What six is it? Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, yeah, Golden, Golden girls. girls. That's definitely Good? Golden okay. Girls. Travel down the road and back again. Number seven. I got that one. What's that? <clears throat> some walk by day, some walk by. Moonlighting. Huh? I never saw it. That was um, Bruce Sybil Willis Shepherd and uh, Sybil yeah. Shepard. I'm too it. young. I remember. And, uh, they, <laughs> did, they, did, they did an episode called Big Man on Melbourne Street where they danced and it was a Billy Joel song. <laughs> That's the only reason I started watching the show. Connection. <laughs> oh my God. True. <clears throat> Everything's connected to Billy Joel. Just hang around long enough. It, well, he's got a lot of uh, he's a lot of pop culture crossover stuff. It Number eight, I get that one. Time but Enterprise. Mind. That's a that's a show. No, oh, it wait was a, a it was a Star Trek series. Oh, see, I thought it was something else. Now, I've never kids, they, my husband and daughter were just watching it in the living room. Oh, I believe you, you, but you know, I was it. distracted. I thought it was um. Can you Grace sing the American song Hero. for us, Deke? It's the least good Star Trek theme song ever of all of the series. Yeah, I believe you, but I would have got that one wrong. I was thinking it was Greatest American Hero. I, I'm just glad that. I don't have to choose. No, that's, the, the, that's, that's you. believe it or not. <laughs> that's I'm right. That's what I was. It. That's what I thought yeah. the next line was going to be. No, no, no. Number nine. I've seen this one. This is a good show. That's I have no show. idea. Is it something Gary called Shandling the Gary Shandling, Shandling show? show? Gary yeah. Shandling show. But the stupid lyrics. But that's that's what makes it funny. It's funny. It's a very funny show. One time on that show, he had a friend uh, <laughs> that had a girlfriend, like a kid. Her name was Holly Wu. And they went to the Hollywood sign and knocked out the letters. So it said Holly Wu on it. <laughs> it's pretty it funny. Oh. <laughs> Get to the funny part. <laughs> well, they knocked the Hollywood sign in, 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 you know what I mean? He changed the yeah. letters so it said Holly Wu on it. Because it was his girlfriend's name. Now, number 10 is so familiar to me. And yeah, I can't I got place it. it. 
It was a it was actually a hit song by a guy named Sebastian. It went to I think it went to number one. The names have all changed since you hung around. Dreams have remained since you turn around. Who'd have thought they'd lead you? Oh, I can't yeah. wait. We need you. We need them a lot, but we got them on the spot. Different Welcome strokes. back. Welcome no, back. Not, not Welcome it. back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Cotter. Oh. A O T T E R. Oh, there's a whole bunch of new applications on my that yeah. showed up on my Zoom. Yeah. Zoom. I don't know what today. it even mean. Are they games? No, they're uh, productive at productivity apps. They're, some are pr pretty good. Have you been through these? <laughs> I kind of I scanned through them briefly earlier today. Um, Mine updated right before I caught on the call with you guys, and I haven't even yeah. noticed these. So I would have scored eight. I would have scored eight on my own, but Zeke and and Susan <laughs> saved the day. Made now we got a ten. Oh, you think you got a ten, huh? I oh, think we do. No, we have it. Susan got one, and Zeke got one. They convinced me I was wrong. So, so just re read off your answers for me. No. Different strokes. You need, you need My to wait. Ears. Carl. Mary Tyler well, Moore. But so Mary Tyler Moore, I answers. thought it was Rhoda, but Mary Tyler Moore. We're not Moore. giving you the answers early. Gee. Why not? It doesn't matter. He's he wrote the category, you know, secret agent. Oh, the only the thing I'm uncomfortable with is that Susan said secret agent man sometimes danger called man. danger man and i yes, said wait a minute names. why both names one was in england one was, one was in Britain, europe or one something was one was england one was america <laughs> or another foreign country uh wkrp in cincinnati golden girls now was it yeah moonlighting gary shandling show oh, what was it? I no. skipped enterprise enterprise yeah that's the one i didn't know and welcome back carter I never watch. I make fun of I make fun of the Enterprise theme every time it comes on in my house, which happens all the time. How bad is it? How bad is it? It's horrible. It's been a long road. Which, which, ar which arrangement do you like worse? Because there's it's the same song, but there's two different arrangements for seasons one and two, and then season three and four. They change it up. I don't know that I know this. to hear. It's been a long time. I mean, how bad could it be? It's it's been a long doesn't. Road. It doesn't feel like they're playing it now in the next room. <laughs> it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. Right? Like all the other Star Trek themes, they just have a certain sci-fi feel to them. And then there's this, it's like a power ballad. It's horrible. Well, give me a, give me a hint. I don't know what it's like. I want you to sing it. Well, I'm not going to sing it. Give me a tune. It. <laughs> it's called Faith of the Heart, and it just sounds like Brian Adams. <laughs> it's been a long road getting there from here to there to here. It's been a long time, but my time is finally near. I will see my dream come alive at last. I will touch the sky. They're not going to hold me down no more. I mean, it's, the lyrics make no sense, does it? <laughs> It's not playing. I can't hear it. Oh, I heard it. It's a bit, and that's all I heard. Can you guys hear it? Hear what? No. Hey, you're spoiling the answer session. Oh, that's awful. That sounds like a church thing, like Kumbaya. Yeah, exactly. Like it just hands. it doesn't fit where it doesn't fit in Star Trek. I'm sorry. Somebody had to. Somebody got bought. Bought. You know, somebody's nephew was probably said, "Oh, my nephew can write a song." It's like whenever I come in the room and they're watching that, I just like I grab my invisible microphone and just pretend to sing really passionately. <laughs> and I was kidding. It's been a long time. Terrible. Road. Been a long time Sometimes since the rock and roll. Day. All right, here, here's, I'm going to share something real quick. I'm going to share something real quick. Uh, share this. Better, it's only 50 seconds. Yeah, We're being only a minute recorded. Long. <laughs> My wife jumped. Hey, we're back. I have to go back and watch the video to see to hear the story of Carl's of uh, Carl of uh, Kevin's wife's touching men on stage. What? <laughs> what? 
That's a, that's a little out of context. <laughs> yes, well, it is. She she touched mean? Brad Paisley, but she kissed Billy Joel. Wow. Then so do, any, do, do any stars have uh, restraining orders against her? No. Should they? I should. <laughs> no. Okay. So we're ready. Edgar is very interested in the results. All right. Well, you want to pause the recording? Yes. <clears throat> Pause the recording because we get deep, because we're getting get some that. we're getting some audio. Uh, I think we all anthology. got all of those. Very interesting. Very good. Thank you for putting the secret agent man in there. So for sure, I knew at least one. Um, <laughs> do you want to just quickly say the list for the, for the uh, people? Yes, I will be getting to that in a second. Here, let's okay. go back you got to my words. Yeah, for those on the audio, because I had a, I'm sorry, you guys on YouTube watching this and so excited about it. All right. I'll, I'll sing them all over to you. <laughs> <laughs> the answers. Number one, different strokes with an apostrophe between the F and the R. Oh, whatever. Just move on. <laughs> <laughs> I am not pedantic on answers. Number two, cheers. Number three, the Mary Tyler Moore show. Number four, secret agent, which is what the name of Danger Man was when it aired here in the U.S. Number five, WKRP in Cincinnati. Number six, The Golden Girls. Seven, Moonlining, probably the hardest one in this round. Eight, Star Trek Enterprise. Nine, it's <laughs> Gary Shandling's show. And 10, Welcome Back, Kater. Five. <laughs> Very good. All right, so we got our scores. Let's go to our scores. We don't want this to take as long as it takes to get the House of Representative person. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Qatar. Good job. All right. So we are going to start off with after 11 votes, our group failed to elect a speaker, so we could not proceed to choosing a name. Nine. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You're in the lead. Everybody pause. Stop the count. Stop the count. All right. Moving up one. I know who is the speaker of my house. Nine. Very good. New leader, Pat Paulson for House Speaker. Ten. Ten. Yeah, it's a two on. I'm telling you. You ruined um, the pattern. No, <laughs> Bill Collins. Connors. Uh, nine. Connors, Connors. Oh, oh, look, Peggy's here. Somebody let her in. Nine? Yeah, I let nine. her in. And no team name after 11 votes. Ten. Oh. Woo. Well, there you go. Did, did everyone who missed one miss the same one? Moonlighting? Moonlighting. No. Yeah, that's the we one missed, we missed. Dang we it. missed Star no. Trek. We got Moonlighting. Yeah. Oh. We don't have Trekkies here. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this. You we just separated the chickens from the non chickens. That is good. Good job, team. Teams. Hey, Peggy. And Peggy's here. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Hi, guys. Hey, Peggy. <laughs> Eggie, we prayed for you. That's why you have electricity. It, it uh, worked. Thank you. We all said oh, great. Jesus. <laughs> Didn't we all say oh, grace? Oh, I think we have it on the video that we all said grace. That, that I can prove that he exists, right? Because she has power now. It that's absolutely proved. That's how it works. <laughs> yep. More than welcome, likely. Welcome back, Peggy. You just missed seeing some seeing some singing going on and we didn't record it because of the audio things you know so we don't want to get the problems we have with youtube when we you should it. record it and then just edit it no why because would she needs that? more to do now you are brain. being a troll kevin you're giving her more work for no reason at all <laughs> you're I'm gonna head out. i just want you to know i'm Bye, recording i'm recording fine I'm recording okay, things so myself, and I report to Thomas John and Donald Trump. <laughs> Every night, he has to tell them all about what's going on in our world. He's my, he's a troll. Somebody's, he's I'm the troll. He's watching and knowing what's going on. Aaron, there you are. Here I am. Don't this Aaron. Okay, there you are. All right, Aaron, sock it to us. Let's see what we've got. What, Mark? <laughs> Following in the theme of song lyrics. Mm. Poetry. No. Lumberjacks. The Beach Boys top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100. Oh. I like Beach Boys. 
We needed oh, well. nice warm days. Like the, the Beach Boys had 55 songs hit the top, hit the Hot 100 of Billboard charts. 15 yeah. of those songs made it to the top 10, and four were number one hits. I'm going to give you a lyric from a from the verse of a song, and you have to tell me what the song is. Okay, I'm going to mute in three, two, one. And I'm going to do my best not to recite these in the rhythm of the song. Number one, off the Florida Keys. Number two, I have no kicks against modern jazz. Number three, I'm getting bugged driving up and down the same old strip. Number four, I love the colorful clothes she wears. Number five, well, since she put me down, I've been all through it in my head. I'm sorry, I've been out doing it in my head. Number six, when some loud braggart tries to put me down. Number seven, my grandfather and me. Number eight, then we wouldn't have to wait so long. Number nine, After six hours of school, I've had enough for the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. And number 10. Will I dig the same things that turned me on as a kid? Karen, I want a 10 out of you. <laughs> Questions? I thought it'd be easier. This is going to be hard. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Got to know so, your lyrics. Let's send you to your breakout rooms. Becky! Becky's going on five. And sl uh, uh, that's Sloop John B. Yeah, Sloop that's John Sloop John B. B. That's, yeah, that's, Let's yeah. do top down though, yeah? Bye, right. grandfather. Oh, yeah, yeah. One is Kokomo. Oh, team. Kokomo. Oh, that's, I was Kokomo. trying to remember Which one? what I or city or town or, or one. place. Yeah. Which ones you guys got? Just one, Kokomo. Oh, and number one? Oh, hey, Kyle. Oh, are and, and, uh, no, and what was the other one? Uh, uh, the Sloop John B. That was what number? That's seven. Seven. Yeah. Ooh, I love the colorful clothes she wears. Right, but I can't. <laughs> I, can't I had I, that's singing that that one. Good vibrations. Yeah. yeah Good vibrations. Yep. 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 Which yep. one is that? The four. Four. Number four. Oh, four. Ah. Put me down. Da 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 da. Three, da, da, is, da, da, three oh. is I get around. I get around. I get around. Okay. You put me down. Uh, I. That's Rhonda. Yeah. That's maybe. for which one? Five. Help Five Rhonda. is Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Oh, you guys are good. I know is, that one's is, uh, 
Well, most it's of this six, is um, Oh, yeah, six is... It's a little, little Deuce Coop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one is that? Little, little Deuce Coop. For which one? Six. For six. Okay. Right. So I got the fastest set of wheels in town. Yep. Can you sing it? And Sloop John B after that. You can sing wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? And that was, yeah, wouldn't be nice. Yeah, eight is wouldn't be nice. Yeah. Which one's eight? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to live together? Five of these are off pet sound. Thanks, Greg. What's that, Kyle? What's that? Five of these are off pet sounds. The album. Wow. Um, I, no, nine, I, don't think, I don't think I own one. Go ahead. Sorry. I never owned any BG. I knew the song. What was that? Eight. I think nine is Be True to Your School. Be I was trying to remember school. what the name of it is. School. Okay, yeah. yeah. I tuned a piano in Brian Wilson's former house oh, yeah. in uh, out in, I think, was it Barrington, Illinois, or wherever it was. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's like. And that helps us how? It tells you, it tells about you, as much as knowing yeah, that no, it, it tells you I never met Brian Wilson. It, 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 about as much as the, the those... Jardines living in Big Sur. That, We're going to get a Netflix series of the air and the spare here. Brothers. 10, I swear, is, is another Pet Sounds reference, but I can't place which tune it is. I, it sound, the words sound familiar, but I can't even think yeah. of what kind of Name music it would be. Um, what do we I have mean, for what do we have for two? Did we have something for two? Nothing I, yet. I have because I know those words modern too. Modern jazz, except when they like to play it too damn it's fast. Now I know I'm number ten is not when I'm sixty four, but it's a song something like that, though I think. Yeah, yeah, like you know, respect all those old people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I grow up to be a man, or something like that. There is a track like that. Yeah, it's early uh, Beach Boys. You're right. Yeah, about, Mark about, says about three o'clock. Roll over Beethoven. <laughs> yeah, about three roll over Beethoven. Three a.m. Oh, that's not I a, bet that's you not might, a uh, uh, Beach Boy song. Roll over Beethoven. They may have recorded it though. That's no. the catch. Maybe. No, no. Ooh, when Mark, I, my uh, bad man. Ten. Number 10 is, I think, but I don't remember if that's the, the, the title of it, but when I grow up to be, yeah, and I always get the last word screwed up. Yeah, no, that's old. a tune. That's a Beach Boy song. That's early. When I grow up to be old? No, be a man. Oh, be a man. Uh, so will I dig the same things that turned me on as a kid? I think it's from that tune. Yeah, it's it's early Beach song? Boys. Ah. The one with the surfboards, maybe. Huh? They're all clean cut and they have a little pastel bathing yeah, suits yeah yes that cover yeah the <laughs> palisades cover yeah <laughs> it's the only one i've ever seen that my girlfriend had it i never i don't think i, think, I ever owned I one beach I boy to, thing i think i got to dislike the beach boys i guess like a lot of like a lot of song i think uh artists because i heard it too damn much it's oh, like no. yeah the beach boys are definitely After overplayed while, it's enough, enough beach boys i don't need any we had a beach, beach boys. boys i went to uh, our company used to do a surprise concert like we would go, we'd have our our meetings in Minnesota, and then the last night there'd be a concert. We're all standing around, you know, five hundred or all of a sudden the things would open and there would be a band. And one time it was the Beach Boys. We had wow. one tree once. Um, I didn't know anything he sang, and then there was we've had a couple others, but we just go, oh wow! But one time it was the Beach Boys. They were old. They were old. <laughs> I, I did I did a concert years ago with the uh, the, the Moody Blues. Oh, I love and, oh. and it was hysterical, but it was hysterical because Why? we're playing there and I'm looking at all these guys at that, you know, we're the backup orchestra and they're they're out there playing. The guys are all in their 50s and 60s. I thought they were gonna die of heart attacks, you know. So <laughs> and the audience, the audience are all they're all baby boomers. And they're all sitting there and they're going like this, you know, with their with the kid. And I'm thinking if their kids would see them now, they'd be so embarrassed. I and love I was, the Moody Blues. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. Oh, yeah. Some of my favorite songs are Moody Blues. Okay, so we don't know 10. Come on, you guys. We can't, we can't, we can't. No, not. I, well, I, I wrote down Be a Man. It's, because it's I don't when know. I grew up yeah, to be yeah. a man. Is that a song? Yeah. We're close on that. I think Deborah's got it. I just don't know the exact title. Yeah. We got I it. I don't know for sure. 
when I grow up to be the uh, when I grow up an alta cocker. <laughs> That's right. I get around. So we think it's roller from Beethoven. Number two. Mm -hmm. Sounds right for the words. How does that roll go? over Beethoven? That's a Beatles tune. No, I well, actually, it, no. It's it, they took it. For, they it was a fifties from somebody else. Well, everybody took from the guy. The all of, all they took. They, everybody stole from all the black artists in the fifties. Yeah. But yeah, the Beatles stole that one from there, so I couldn't. The Beach Boys. I have no kicks. I don't know how that goes. Where does that fit in the? It spot? says, "Well, I have no kick in modern jazz, except when they try to play it too damn fast or something." It's the only part of it I can remember. <laughs> I can't hear that, so yeah, I'm not hearing it either. Yeah, me neither. Come on, Eric. Come on, you can do it. Open the door. It's not helping yeah, me with anything of the rest of it. I just can I just can I just know the next line, but I don't know any of the rest of it. Well, here's Erin. She knows the answers. We can ask her. Oh yeah. Here, Wait, what's, what's the here, next what's the next line? Here comes the two minute the two okay, minute go one. Ahead. We got it. We got it. Ten. We got it. Yeah. If uh, I hit Deborah, Deborah, what's the, the, the what what's the next line to that song? Ex except when they try to play it too damn fast or something oh, like oh, that. Yeah. That's Susan, how it rhymes Susan, with I, the yeah. jazz. Susan, when I click close all rooms, it puts out a two minute warning. Yeah, but you should yeah. go to the main room. I well, thought I should I thought I should be in this room. I should yeah, end okay, I well, should end ahead. in the room I belong in. Yeah, go ahead. Because I we think belong here depending on how well we do. How how is everybody else doing? Everybody was pretty much finished or or stuck on like one more. Yeah, that's what we are. About us, yeah. So I'm giving them their two minute warning and Getting everyone back. I will now go back to the main room. Okay. Yeah, I I don't know if I would have gotten to that place upon her head. Once you give them to me, I can. Okay, you're singing the song. What's that song? Is that the song you're thinking? That's good, that's good vibrations. vibrations. Good vibrations. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why. That's why. She's good vibrations. Good vibrations. One of the only popular songs that features a theremin. Ooh, is it theremin? Yeah. Woo! That's a theremin. Yeah. I thought it was just it's people a, going. Woo! No, <laughs> it's actually a special theremin piano thing that uh, was around at the time. They slid oh. this bar up and down this linear projector thing, and it would just make the note. Wouldn't it be easier to just oh, have weird. people going, ooh, wee, ooh, wee, like the lady? Like the I lady mean, who gets me on the chair and shakes it? Why do you need sure. to buy a big old shaking machine? Just have an old lady stand there. Because <laughs> the machine is predictable. Well, so is this old lady, you know? Come on, she let could, her give her a job. Have, she could take a day off for any reason. Get a whole okay, bunch of uh, Hold on, hang on. More important, I need to know about that rocket ship, the, the one that came out of the water. Uh, was that was that a, did it actually fly? Did they ever test it? I thought, they said it, I thought, I thought he said it know. never, they never flew it. They never saw, okay, so anything you would see would be an animation. Not and that a, super so. collider thing never got built, right? That's and that right, one never yeah. got built, yeah. Because the people are just full of it. Fine. Yeah. See, no, the science would have worked. It. Pay for it. That's what it was. America didn't want to pay for it. I feel so privileged in my group because um, Mark left. So Very hard. I'm the only guy <laughs> in my group. <laughs> Randy, text me about what you thought number five was. Text we me. had, we were just, okay. Hello. Um, oh, you mean hello, Mike? Hello, uh, hello. There's a mark in your group. It's a mic. Yeah. Oh. You guys, uh, can we have one more minute? Yeah, we needed like another minute, and it went really quick at the end. Yeah. You yeah, my internet was message. going out at this <laughs> too. Fire. So. Um. That would be helpful. I I don't have control over a minute, but I can give you. I can put everybody invite everybody back to their breakout rooms and immediately put a two minute notice on. Yeah. Them. Okay. Yeah. Good. Get back in a minute or else you disappoint. We'd appreciate that. Yeah. 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 We'll come back. I assume we don't need to go. go back in a minute. Don't Are we hit, going back? Don't go to your rooms, you guys. Unless you're the yeah. team that needs to go to the Don't room. need. We're okay. Uh, okay. We don't need to. Yes. Well, who do you want to hang out with? 
and the two minute warning is out again. Group. Yeah, I can hang out with our team. Yeah, yeah, you want to hang out with the people who know the answers. Yeah, it. although you know, as 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 the room closed, I'm pretty sure Janine was about to tell us about sex, drugs, and rock and roll in college. That's true. Yes. Oh man, and I'm not <laughs> doing it on recording. <laughs> she was a wild woman. Let me tell you stories. That would have been the best. She room was to so be in. wild. She was so wild in college that they had to make they had yeah. special rules for her. I was <laughs> no, they didn't. They did, Janine. You just ignored them all. <laughs> I, hey, I I dropped out and focused well, on what was important. <laughs> So it was the sixties. I know, but they. It was the. It. it was the sixties, the late seven or early seventies. We had I'm a war to protest. They had special rules in the town whenever Janine was coming. No they dancing. To, <laughs> yeah. They called they ahead. They had to make sure she was. Oh my gosh! You should, Kevin no, it was. It was. It was my college roommate. And she that, drank. That they did do that for. I think <laughs> something else. So what she is saying know. is. She was talking about her friend. Yeah. Yeah, we know. She was, I'm telling you, that's why she doesn't know any anything about any TV or she was a busy girl. But she knows the Beach Boys. <laughs> well, we she might know. have actually, hey, from what I've heard, she might actually know the Beach Boys. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Would, would, would we like it was the wildlife that Janine had? My class, I have a, my I have class a story. Was all Beach Boys. Don't let that I have, story, I have a story of the Beach Boys unrelated to me, but I experienced watching it happen. Uh, July 4th in 19, no, I think it was 2003. The Beach Boys played at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. And it was a very hot day. And they uh -huh. had people. What about Jackson? What? Uh, the Beach Boys played July 4th, and I think it was 2003. It was a oh. very hot July 4th, and oh, they played in the, in the arena at Six Flags. Mm -hmm. And they had people out uh, with water guns, you know, water pistols and hoses to keep us cool, spraying everybody. Um, and there was a woman up near the, the, the fence area just before the stage. And... I knew the security people who were working there. And I heard this story from one of them after you know, the next day. Um, the woman passed out from the heat. She, she fainted and they grabbed her and they put her on a, on a gurney and they rolled her in backstage for air conditioning and whatnot. And the, uh, the medics, the paramedics were there checking on her. And one of the management of the Beach Boys comes walking by and stops and says, What's she doing here? Get her out of here. She can't be here. And security was like, she passed out. She can't be out there in the heat. She cannot be in here. Mike Love is here with his wife, and that's his girlfriend. She can't be here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I found that to be a very amusing Beach Boys story. <laughs> oh. So they, oh, they were willing to let her die. And, and anyone who anyone here, I think everybody's aware. Mike Love is Mike Love is one of the uh, main one of the the Beach Boys. In fact, he's he's one of the only original Beach Boys who still tours as the Beach Boys. Yeah, we saw we saw here. at uh, Camp Basie Theater maybe four years ago, and he was the only one who yep. was the original. I think he lives around here, doesn't he, Susan? The the Charkies. I've not run into him. I don't think. I wouldn't. I don't know, know what he. From... I wouldn't. I wouldn't recognize one of them. One of them lives know. around here. Don't have right, so. when you meet him. Yeah. Maybe they'll yeah. come to my skeptic camp stuff that we're doing this weekend. Mm -hmm. there you go. Here we go with answers. <laughs> so, all of these answers are based on the Billboard Hot 100 chart as reported um, for the Beach Boys. Um, I had said that there are, I have to flip around my screens here, 55 songs on the charts, 15 of them made it to top 10, four made it as number one hits. The four number one hits are on my list. Um, the others are all within the top 10. I did not pick from farther down the chart. And here we go with answers. If I can find my answer sheet, there we go. <laughs> so answer number one, off the Florida Keys, I think many of you, if not all, finally came up with 
Kokomo. It reached number one and spent 28 weeks, 28 weeks on the Hot 100 chart. Written for Cocktail, correct? The Tom Cruise movie. A guy yeah. in my background played saxophone on Kokomo. My oh. friend Richie. Number number two, I have no kicks against modern jazz. <clears throat> that was rock and roll music. Yes. That, peaked uh. at, that peaked at number five, and somebody wrote rock and roll. I'm not going to accept that. It's not the title of the song. I wrote music. <laughs> and, and and the one who I heard right heard you know when I was in the room and they said rock and roll and stopped at that they may have added music after but I just wanted to say Aaron's tough I'm scared you got to get you got to get the title I'm not care, I'm not concerned about the spelling of it but you know music is part of the title yeah well, one, A B C D E F G I just label all the letters of the alphabet the people and that one about and that one stayed on the charts for 17 weeks. Hmm. Hmm. They were catching. Number three, I'm getting Bud driving up and down the same old strip. Is I get around. Yes. Get around, round, get around, round. I get around. That one was get a number around. one hit for them and was 15 weeks on the Hot 100. Hmm. Number four. <clears throat> I love the colorful clothes she wears is good vibrations. You guys gotta watch the video so you can hear it, Deborah and I hit, all the songs. It hit number one <laughs> and it was 14 weeks on the hot 100 charts. Number five. Well, since she put me down, I've been out doing in my head. That is Help, help me Rhonda. Help Another me. number. Oh, help yeah. me Rhonda. Another number one song. It spent 14 weeks on the Hot 100. Number six. Be true to your school. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, oh we messed up. It peaked at number six. And a Great little... Job, Karen. A little trivia on Be True to Your School. There's an organ solo in the middle of it. I call it organ, but I think it's a, a I, I forget what the name of the instrument that Brian Wilson was playing, but um, there's an organ solo in the middle of that. It's his high school fight school song. Oh. And and uh -huh. he got a and he got a D in music in school for that. <laughs> they said he was pandering to them. Aww. Did they say what school? <laughs> I knew it at one time, but oh, I don't it's remember now. Somewhere down in that Southern California. That, that, that's a trivia thing that's just in my head from like 20 years ago. The things that stick in your head. Number seven, Sloop John B. Peaked at number three. Yeah, people knew that. Yeah, good job, Wendy. I, I, didn't use, I didn't use the first line to that song because the first line is, we come on the Sloop John B. So I used the second line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My grandfather yeah. And that was 11 weeks that's on the chart. We did wrong. That's also one that is a very old... Um, very very old song that nobody quite knows the origins of and there are many people who have done versions of it they just made it famous famous number eight. Oh yeah this is the truth. i just pasted it twice we don't need to see it twice wouldn't it be nice if you did yeah it would have been wouldn't it number eight <laughs> wouldn't it be nice peaked at number eight I don't know the words. And that's and that's another one that I didn't use the first line to because the first line of the song is, wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Oh yeah, wouldn't it be nice if we were older then we wouldn't have to wait so long. Sing it, Deborah. <laughs> that sounded Deborah too Iowa. close to the original. Now they're going to take the video down, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. So, so number nine. That'll be the That's day. Wrong number nine. Uh, after six hours of school, you had enough for the day. So of course, dance, dance, dance. Oh, so we thought that was mm, two years. Yeah. Oh, really Peaked at number eight. Spent eleven weeks on the oh, Hot 100 chart. <laughs> And number 10, 
Will I dig the same things that turned me on as a kid? No. When I grow up to be a man. Right. You got, got it. To be I never heard it. Man. Speak at number it. nine. Never spent, ten, spent 10 weeks on the charts. <clears throat> and there we go. There we go. There you go. Thanks. That was fun. Yeah. That was a good one. Okay, let's get over to the so oldies with goodies. All right. And we're almost and th done, and thanks for that. Thanks for that update, Zeke. In the chat, Zeke gave us a little bit of information about uh, the school song. According to Wikipedia, being, and you know you can't trust Wikipedia. Sometimes. My kid is zoned for that high school, so I was wondering. Okay. <laughs> oh, Wisconsin. Oh, wow. I thought they were in Southern California. They are. They are. Read the, whole, read the whole text that Zeke posted. Don't just stop at the first oh, two. Oh, it's the Winston. Okay, okay. Uh, Hawthorne uh, High School. Isn't that where Paula went? Didn't she go to? Oh, I'm down in that area. Hawthorne. Okay, anyway. So here we are. Again, nothing's changed. So let's start with, after 11 votes, our group failed to elect a speaker, so we could not proceed to choosing a name. We had eight. Very good score. You are tied for first. Next, <laughs> I know long. who's the speaker of my house. <laughs> Not for long. Zero. Oh. I think it was seven. Seven, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not psychic. Oh, yeah, it was seven. Sorry. Pat Paulson for house speaker. Seven. Okay. And Bill? Bill Connors? Uh, <laughs> six, I, I have. I can't get that on my head. Ooh. Ooh. No team name after 11 votes. Oh, a team with Karen? Ten. Well, the, 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 well the, the not having the word music. No, we had the word. Wait, my what? team had music, but we didn't have to be a man on 10, I don't think. What? Yes, we did. Yeah. Okay, which, what is your score? No team with after 11, no team name after 11 votes. Can. Can. It's gonna be hard to yeah, beat that. Wow. Well, so uh well, for 10, but, we, we had a an answer of when I grow up. The full title is when I grow up. No. If if we're getting a point taken off for missing one word, they yeah. should go oh, we got yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I had off. when I grow up to be a man, but you're the official. Keepers. So uh, uh, yeah. we have to go with the official. Down. I'm sorry. Okay, let, oh, let's okay. let's let's address this a little bit differently. Um, I think it's and, not. But the the first the first one that I said needs to have the full name, and I'm scrolling through <laughs> titles here. Which one was the first one? Music. Uh, rock, rock and roll music. Rock and roll music. Rock and roll music. Okay, so in the charts. Rock and roll music is listed as rock and roll music. In the charts, when I grow up to be a man is when I grow up parentheses to be a man. So here's what I'm going to do for everybody. <laughs> if, if you had rock and roll and didn't have music, give yourselves a point. If you had when I grow up and didn't have to be a man, give yourself the point. Okay. Nice. So what changes here? <laughs> then uh, ten. And if you had team one goes if, to seven. And if you had when I grow up, if I grow team when I grow up to be a man, ten. deduct two points. Only if you have the parentheses. <laughs> You've got to have the parentheses. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't have because the parentheses. Nobody likes a smarty pants. <laughs> right. If, have if I got it correct, you guys? If you had brackets instead of parentheses, take off 10 points. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> we, we had angle okay. brackets, sorry. Okay, so uh, I'm asking a question. If I got yeah. this right, look it's for right. me. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Ben, ben do, you, do you do the parentheses first and then the brackets, or do you execute the brackets first? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We just had an open tag, that's all. All right, good job, team. Very good, <laughs> Aaron. Thank you so much. That was fun. We're, we're going to end yeah, this with good. one last. This is the bonus. Okay. Mm. Go for it. Get under a charge. It better not be parliamentarianism, even though I found that interesting. But Oh, I'd love to talk about that, but it's not what it is. 
Okay. It's famous people who died in 2022. And I will tell you that the first time I did it, I was looking for people over 90 and I got through one month and already had 30 names. So I knew that that no. wasn't going to work. So <laughs> They all, did they all did. die on a Friday? Did they all die on a Friday? I, right yeah, I could have, I probably could have found that one. There were hundreds of people that are called notable, according to the New York Times, that died this year. So what I did was I found a website, and I will give you, the website is on the thing I just posted. Um, pick any 10 of the top 30 names from this website, okay? And this is famouspeople.com. And what they did was used an algorithm that combined the votes of users who were asked for their favorite people who died last year Ooh. and the number of search trends on the internet. So, okay. okay. So that so algorithm good, created the list and I've got the top 30. Name any 10. <laughs> the top no modern 30. rules, huh? Uh, you, do you mean No modern rules. You'll never get it if we use modern rules. What? <laughs> Do you mean the search was particularly about their death or just in general with them? No, as a so anyone who searched about the people when they died. When was this list put together? Oh. Uh, and and I ask because didn't Barbara Walters die like on the 30th or something? Hey. Well, I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> I can tell you that it was on, it was on the, it was up on the internet two days ago. So. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's, Thank you for that, Gail. <laughs> All right, Gail. Okay. So go to your rooms. <clears throat> Do we get to go look at that thirty list? I'm not sure what I'm reading. Mm -hmm. Gail. You're right. You're right. Is Gail, still there? No, I'm here. I don't understand. Do we look at a list of thirty? No, she, you just come up with 30. We just come up with I mean, you 10, come up okay. with 10 off the 30 she has on her list. So there is no list. Look at that list. Yeah. You're kind of cheating, Hello, right? Team. Hello, my team. Yeah. Yeah. Open yeah. trivia yeah. questions. That's good. <clears throat> oh, oh. I gave you the place so that you could look at it later. Okay. Oh, That's what, that was my assumption, but I heard yeah. the question, so I thought. No, you're not allowed. I had to answer a question for Kevin. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm just coming up with a Betty list White. of people who died. So am I. I'm coming up with a list. People that Vincent, are famous. Do you want to put up a, a, a Wait, word document? That? We can. Uh, I certainly Betty White. can. We can just write a list of people who died. And in 2021 yeah. was Betty White. She was. Are you the, sure? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. She didn't make it. She made it like a couple days away, huh? Oh. She didn't yeah. make it. Yeah. She didn't make it to 100. But I she, think. It, Queen Elizabeth, the Pope. Yeah, Elizabeth Pele. Okay. Yeah. Pele, yes. But and Barbara are... Walters, of course. Walters. But that's really her. So I don't know if she's going to she, Did she die in 2022 or 2023? Who? Well, somebody just now said that she died in 2020. She died a week ago. So, yeah, 20, it was last week. I don't think it was a week ago. Oh, you oh. don't? I think Gail just said that she died. Didn't no, it just to... happened on Thursday, right before we did trivia, and so that was a week ago. Barbara Walters. So that is the thirtieth. Didn't I, I'm wearing anything that's that close. It might not be on this list. Oh well, that's true, Susan. I vote for Kirstie Alley because I know oh, that Kirstie girl. Alley, good one, good one, good one, good one, good one. Good one. We expect from the Scientologists. It's gonna be good for something. That's uh, right. Christine McVie. Who's that? Okay, what good. about Ellen? Yeah. I know that she was. I know that Christine McVie was um, googled a lot because she was like all over. The yeah. Earth. yeah, I would have googled and, her to know who in the heck it is. And so She's, was Ellen. <laughs> Ellen's guy. Ellen's the guy who was on Ellen. Twitch. He was forty. Twitch. 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 But he, I don't. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. That was his name, Twitch. Yeah, but his name was him. Twitch. Okay. What are you talking about? Ellen, he had the guy that was Ellen's second banana. She called him Twitch. He has another name, but I don't know what it is. Ellen who? Ellen Did you Oh, she killed and somebody. Twitch, Twitch no. was forty. Was forty, and he killed himself. 
Oh, and, really? He killed yeah, and I'm himself. sure. Yeah, and I'm sure that was Googled a lot. Yeah. Oh, oh, that Judd woman, Naomi Judd. Yes. She herself. Was yeah, that 2022? Did. Yes, it was. It was in 2022. Okay, it was 2022. Yeah. yeah. How do you spell Naomi? N A O M. Peggy, who else did you kill off? Okay, Peggy, one person. Peggy not killed around. Betty White. N O M I. N A O M I. Naomi. Naomi. Yeah. That's that's Judd. that's Naomi back there. Jugs or Judd? No, Judd. Oh, Judd. 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 David. Okay. He's Canadian. Leave him alone. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we <laughs> know what you mean. Why well, you Judd. spell things funny over there? <laughs> there are things, there are I guess you. so. I don't know. <laughs> okay, who else is dead? Um, Irene Cara died yeah. recently. She yes, was, she did. But I don't know that that's very famous. Um, well, down for a minute. Maybe, but I, but we're just making a list, so yeah, well, okay. we can throw people out later. Okay. Angela Lansbury. Seven, eight. Yeah. Angela oh, Lansbury. Angela died. Lansbury. Right. Oh, I loved her. Yeah. Didn't somebody say the Pope? Yeah. The old, I, and don't, we have, Pope. don't we have yeah. the Pope on here? But the yeah. but it's said it, but it's not on the list. I might not make the list. Pope Benedict. I still think yeah, Pope Benedict. Uh, Pope Emeritus Benedict. To be precise. Pope the Pope. Oh, okay. The Pope Emeritus. Benedict, or do I have to put the other one? No, the just put the Benedict. Papa. The Papa. Yeah, the Papa. 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 So oh, that's God, there's probably a whole bunch. And th oh. oh, hey, oh. Anne Hesh. Anne Hesh. Oh, yeah, that, oh, was, that was a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I bet a lot something. of people Googled that because that was quite... And, and uh -huh. she had all kinds of issues. I didn't know. Yes, yeah, she did. I, I, I'm one of those people who Googled her. I looked her up. So did I. I. So did I. I. Did I. You <laughs> say her last name again. Hesh. I put, in the in the, I put it in the chat. H E C H E. Correct. Um, oh, Loretta Lynn. Did she? Oh, die? Yeah, I think yeah. So. Didn't oh, she just yeah. die? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a month or so ago. Yeah, it was a while back. Um, oh, was it? I, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't yeah. this week. It wasn't. I thought it was that. like a month ago or yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, but it was in 2022. Yeah. Okay, I didn't even hear about that. Oh, you were too busy googling Anne Hatch. I was. <laughs> Anne Hatch and Twitch. I was googling. Yeah, it was about the same time as Anne Hatch. Yeah. I think. Um, how many can we guess? We he, they're asking for 10. Yeah, right. we, come up, we come up with a final list. You have 10. to have 10 that are on the 30, the list of 30. Yeah, oh, we got a lot of you know, could be so. We have to re we have to reduce it to 10. Oh, Ivana Trump. Yeah, oh, we yeah. Well, you guys are good. I, I wouldn't have remembered that, but you're right. Yeah, that's Ivana, good, though. Ivana. Ivanka? Ivanka? No. Ivana. Is it Ivana or Ivana? Ivana? It was mom. Ivana. 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 Yep, there you go. Ivana. Peg, Peg, you know. I don't know her spelling, so I just... I it's already forgot. Yeah, it's just an I instead of an E. Vincent, Sorry. you can check the chat because I'm putting them all in the chat. Are you? She's um, got... Peggy's kind of oh, pushy. She's, I, got her, uh, she's got her internet and she's catching up now. Awesome, Peggy. You we pray. I tell you, Peggy, day. we prayed and prayed for you, for your internet. Oh, that's I said, didn't work. Don't solve world. Don't give world peace. Don't uh -huh. save the babies. Don't end world hunger. Just get Peggy to trivia tonight. Don't that's let right. anybody in Ukraine have power. Send it to Peggy. But Peggy, if it hadn't worked, out, do it we have to put you It would have been just God saying. No, because he had a plan for your life that was different. To miss trivia tonight. Because you yeah. kill people. Yeah, to fall asleep at 8 30 because there's nothing to do. Right. <laughs> Troy, see what happened is is Peggy, the rumor is is that if we start talking about somebody on trivia, they die the next day or so. And oh, Peggy, so <laughs> if we talk about Trump, he'll die the we've next day. We've been trying. Day. But Peggy, yeah, Peggy let's try. Start talking about 
Did we post died, that Betty White, White, and the next day she died. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. I'm, gonna Donald Trump. Trump. I'm the one who apparently has the power. I'm going to keep being accused of being the killer. Um, so uh, can you say, um, uh, what the hell is her name? Um, geez, now I can't remember Hobart. her name. Marjorie Taylor. Oh, so the um. Oh, Marjorie Taylor Taylor Green. In my in my province, the horrible premier. Oh, Romano Romano Romano, Queen of Canada. Rom no, Romano. no, 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 not her. Baby. Although it would be nice if she died, but no. So okay, can I just can I just digress back to we need ten? Yeah. What I are we talking about? <laughs> well, I'm I'm the one you about. I know. I'm so sorry. Can you sorry. scroll up? What's above Pele? Queen Elizabeth. Oh, Queen okay. Elizabeth. Okay, she's... she stays. Pele's got to stay. Yeah, can you, like, maybe, like, yellow highlight the ones that we pick as probably most um, Googled? Uh, so... Elizabeth would be one. I think, too, if their death was controversial, it's going to be more Googled. Yeah. Or yeah, it died quickly. Yeah, uh, or did uh, unexpected. Or they committed suicide. Like I think, yeah, I, think Naomi, I think Naomi Judd would be one. Yeah, I think, and I think Pele has to be in there because of he, I yeah, do know it's huge world news. I think no, no Pele definitely Pele. Take Irene Carr off. I don't know who she is. Yeah, take. I don't right. think. Big enough. Just don't hey, like take her off. Just leave her. Just don't highlight her. Yeah. Oh. We might want to like. Who okay, knows? Angela Lansbury is definite because she had a long career. Yeah. She did. And everybody oh, okay. Googled her to say, I thought she was already dead. Right. Vincent, Vincent Pele, you have to highlight Pele. I thought of another mm -hmm. person who died. At the top. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, uh, meatloaf. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think Kirstie Alley is definitely on there. And I think Avon drops on there. Do you, think, do you think Christy McVee is on there? Oh, that's right. She's I sort of do. I, do. I, um, I didn't. I only heard of her when I looked at who died. So we were walking down. Um, she was on a boulevard, list. and her star had a bunch of flowers around it. And I said, "Oh, oh. it was uh, all yeah. over." It was all over. Uh, I know. Media. So well, we don't have we yeah, don't have anyone to take was, off. It, I know somebody who died and who was Googled a lot, Bob Saget. Yeah, he was. But we was that last year or the year before though? It was this year. Who was, it was last year? But we have too many people. I don't think it was 2022. Yeah. No, it I was. Because I remember when they some his family put something up about how it's been a year. Who's Bob? We only Saget? need 10. Let's Let's take Barbara Walters is definite because yeah. she's just, yeah, and Pope Benedict. I Loretta think, I think that Bob Trump. Saget was Googled a lot because his death was yeah, so but, mysterious. But I think he might have been. Count. I think he might have been over a year ago. I mean, do Pope and Loretta Lynn and Trump. Um, and then count. Whew. And Kirstie Alley. Because Kirstie Alley was so young. And they were like, Anne, and Anne, Anne Hesh. Yes. Okay. And Kirstie Alley, many, everybody might know about her Scientology. Five, six, yeah. seven, eight. So Kirstie Alley. And Anne Hesh. Yeah. And Kirstie Alley is under Barbara Walters. There it is. The only reason I'm thinking I'm wary about Barbara Walters is because that was so recent, and a lot of these websites don't keep up. You, you know, know, that's true. They, Same they, thing. They, you know, it's like the yeah. Christmas time, they do the top 100 of stuff or the top 10 stuff, and it always pisses me off because there's still a whole, you know, right. there's a week, and it makes me mad because it's like, that's just not right. What if something amazing yeah. happens in the last week and you've already come out with your top 10? But Barbara Walters is so famous in the news area yeah. that every news station and every reporter would have been Googling to get just the right pieces to put the end of your story for her. Right. But would it be on the on this famous the famous people.com? I think so. 
Sydney, mean, I don't know this website. It might not be updated. It's like a Wikipedia page. What if it didn't get updated quickly? You know what I mean? Oh, it's not that. Look, Sydney, Sydney Poitier died. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. A lot of people don't know who he is, unfortunately, but that's so really good. amazing. Um, you know, do we do we care about spelling? Because Jug is J U D D, as in dog, dog. Oh, Judd. Judd. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. In the chat, and, Vincent. It's in the chat. And Angela Angela Lansbury doesn't have a D in her last name. Nobody cares about Elizabeth Lansbury because. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any objections to any of those? I'm gonna take no. a picture of it so I know what it is when I get over to the main screen. Well, that's a good idea. Do you I think Naomi? Phone. Yeah, Naomi Judd was a suicide. I still think Twitch is gonna be on there, but it doesn't matter. We're well, not. It could be. We're there's thirty names, so it. Could oh, be that's over. right. Yeah. It's hard. Pick, just, yeah. We have to choose the 10 that we think are most likely. Oh, that makes sense. I don't have a clue what Twitch is. You never watched Ellen? Oh, not really. Yeah. I was a working girl, man. We didn't have no days off like in the day. It like, seems that somebody else committed suicide in the last week, which would have been January, I guess, or last couple of weeks. Somebody else committed suicide. You're right. Uh, well, that Twitch was pretty recent. So, was that a suicide too? Yeah. 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 Okay. Twitch was a suicide. Um, I can't remember, but you're right, Jane. I'm writing it down so I can Google it when we're done. Well, I, I almost Googled it. I can't. I'm not Googling. <laughs> I know. I have to write. I have to write these down, or I put them up on my tab so I'll look at them after the we're over. Yeah. So that's a decent list. It is. Yeah. Troy, what'd you think of our trivia? Is it crazy? Are we too too weird? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, you're uh, Some of it is too esoteric, man. <laughs> well, we agree. I, I have objection in the machines group. There were a lot of things that never were built. So it's like, uh, do we care? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's on the trivia. All right. Yeah. Well, hopefully you come back. We're not we're not as scary as we seem. Can you believe some groups got like a 10 on that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And my team, they just like oh, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Jim knew them all. And it's neat yeah. because you get to meet new people. Yeah. Wow. I've never, I don't think we've ever ended a game this quick. Nine Susan, Susan I, yeah. still had, I still had controls. So, I moved each of us into a different room. So our group was in all different rooms. And you is, cheated uh, and is, brought back together with all the answers. <laughs> well, uh, will, will, Trump be on that, will Trump be on next year's list? <laughs> Susan's looking at me like, what did you do? What did, wait, what did you, you do? people into different rooms? I, I, had, a, I had control. I has a long well, that's life. okay. I trust you. <laughs> I'm joking. I know because no, I all, can see the, all can see the list. We all in Carl's room. That's why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you look in the chat, the algorithm that I put in the chat comes directly from that website, and they list the top 100 based on their algorithm, but it does use the word favorite, and some of these surprised me, and that's why I said we couldn't use mono rules, because it really was hard, and I thought it was going to be hard, and it was harder than I thought it was going to be even. Yes. So I will list the names. <laughs> And then I will put the top 30 in chat. But if you want to see the whole 100, you can go to that website. So there's a, the there's a favorites on But here? we have to hit the top 30 to count, right? No, yeah. you, need, and the, you, you need have to, to get in. 10 of the top 30. Right. right. What's the favorites on this thing? I'm sorry? You have you said that you had, um, did you say that there was a, there was a, Oh, what, what am I looking for to get to where you're finding? Uh, you, you need to put put the link in that you said you were going to put in. The link is there. It's, no, it's on the, in the chat. The uh, famous people huh? That's where I'm at. The famous people. That's a website though. It's on a particular page. Or here, this okay, way. Do you want me to list the people that that are the answers? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I don't see. I don't see these people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I was as I said I was surprised at some of the people who made it and some of the people who didn't, 
And remember, this is from a website. So some people said, is it international? Well, yeah, because it's anybody like who that. has access to the website, but it is an English website. Oh, okay. So here is the list. I will read the names in order. I did put what they put as the, who, what made them famous, and then I will put them all in chat, okay? okay? So here are the top 30. Number one, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, I oh, forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you oh, forgot that? There Number oh, two, Pele. Yeah. Oh, Number three, Olivia Newton-John. Oh, yeah. Oh, we forgot her. Yeah. Poor Olivia. She's and there was a lot of conversation about number four. Yes, he died last year, Bob Saget. Oh, oh that's that's so Sorry. Number five, Sidney Poitier. Oh, oh forgot oh. him. Oh. Oh. Oh, we had it. Forgot him. Number six, James Khan. This is, a... this is oh. making me sad. Number seven, I don't think anybody could or would have gotten. Khalifa Ben Zayed Al Nah, the second president of the UAE. Uncle oh. Kali, I forgot. <laughs> I all about that. Number eight, Kirstie yes. Alley. Yes. Kirstie Alley, we took yeah, her we off got our list. Alley. Number nine, list. and I don't think I was surprised nobody Darn got it. number nine. Oh, well. Meatloaf. We got it. Oh, we, right. we took it off yeah. our list. We, we got list. it, but we didn't highlight it. So yeah. Yeah. Two out of three, we, ain't we bad. thought of them. Oh, oh, number oh, 10, oh. Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, yeah. that's right. He died. Dang, he was last. I feel like he died like four and years 11, ago. And 11, I think many teams got this one. Gilbert Godfrey? No. Oh, yeah, oh, we took him off the list. Oh, he died? Oh, also the Gallagher. 12 Gallagher. was Shane Warney, who was an Australian cricketer. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, he died. He died. He died. Number 13 he died. was William Hart. Who? Oh, William yeah. Hurt. Okay. Actor. Oh, yeah. Actor. Oh, man. The doctor. The war doctor. 14 was Paul Servino. Oh, he took him off the list. He died. Number 15, yeah. I know somebody got this. Michelle Nichols. Oh, yeah. We oh, yeah. Right. Oh. 16, 16, I thought everybody was going to get Barbara Walters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 17, Madeline Albright. Oh, I forgot her. 18, John Aniston. He's a, a, an actor in Days of Our Lives, apparently. And Jennifer's dad. And yeah, Jennifer's yeah. dad, yeah. Scott um, Hall was a wrestler. 20 was Christy McVie, a singer-songwriter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, what map? Oh, 21 was Coolio, a rapper. Oh, uh, cool. gotta be a rapper, people. 22 was Lada Manjuscar, <sighs> apparently a singer from India. Uncle Lottie. 23, <laughs> Tony Dow. Oh, the Beaver. Oh, yeah. The, the, yeah, the, the Beaver. Wally. 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 Number 24, Shinzo Abe, the a former prime minister of Japan. Yep. Cut off. <laughs> 25, uh, Ivan Reitman is a director. Ivan Reitman. Oh, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah. 26, Vince, Vince Scully, baseball. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, 27, Ku Gulliga, an actor. Ku Gulliga. Ku Exactly. 28 was Jason David Frank, who was a mixed artist. And who, who and who? Yeah, he was one of the Power Rangers. He was, he was the Green yeah. Power Ranger. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 29 was Sally Kellerman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And 30 was Dennis Waterman. And if you're surprised the Pope wasn't there, so was I. No, he died he this year. Just soon. I no. know, but he died this year, but he didn't make this list. He, he died. He died last week. It was still 2022 when he died. Yeah, he I died. know, but he didn't make the well, list because he's probably. I, I understand. No, I understand. Somebody said somebody said he died this year, and it wasn't. It was actually la at the end right. of last year. Uh, the just, reason it was just nobody's anyway. favorite. Favorite oh. people. Oh, oh that's right. Right. Okay, yeah. I wanted to see. He was the ex-pope anyway. Okay, I'm putting the list up with the 
Who they were for those quit. of you who don't know. It was a quitter. Surprise how many we had on our list that we dropped because we thought Loretta Lynn would be on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't believe we forgot the queen. I think did, she's did, there, but she's lower the down on the right. list. <laughs> we we, 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 guy this year. we had the other guy from uh from Ray Liotta instead of hmm. that guy Shane died like just a mile away from us. We traded Shinzo out we, for, for someone else. For Twitch. For yeah. Twitch, yeah. yeah. We have uh, Twitch on our list. A little too. bit about them yeah, from, the, way. from the website are up. And you can go to the Crazy. website if you want to see all of it. I'm looking so, at it now. We had so did Betty Weiss die this year. Year. Trump. Yeah, I was surprised Betty White yeah. was on there. Well, yeah, and I did. Anne Hesch didn't make the list, huh? She's 35. No. No. She's on the wow. list, but she's way Kevin, low down. We had her too, low. Kevin. Yeah, because there was a lot of talk. Yeah, we we had yeah, her, but we, we also it. debated whether to include her or not. Yeah, because yeah, because of the side of your McDonald's. Anyone else have Leslie Jordan? We we oh, talked yeah. them off the Darn. list. We talked them off the list. There's a mm -hmm. lot of names I've never heard of. They're not necessarily people that are American that I would have run into. Technoblade. Who in the heck is that? A YouTuber? Was it well, the first American yeah, on the list is Bob Stack? Their occupation. Was. I'm surprised okay. Angela Lansbury isn't on there. Oh yeah, Angela yeah. Lansbury. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we put her on our list at the last minute. Uh, no, Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. Yeah, Gorbachev. It's amazing yeah. that Pele is number two after, and he just died last week. Yeah, because yeah. worldwide, the, the, the best and soccer player in the world in soccer is the number one sport. Oh, I watched well, some of his I guess the yeah, but is Benedict is the best the ex pope match, in the world, obviously. and he didn't make it. <laughs> well, we were sure that Franco Harris would be on there, but he's not. Oh, that's another one. Yeah. Uh, but that would be limited to an American audience. Pretty much. So yeah, that's the reason. Your, you got your list. You got to figure it out. And um, yeah. Michelle with an N, not Michelle Nichols. Oh. Yeah. Michelle Nichols. Michelle with an N. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody famous that's a scientist on here. About time. Hey, Ronnie, you you uh, knew uh, you knew uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Susan, who was it? Is Ivan it Wilson? Yeah. No, you knew, I, I knew the family. Yeah. You knew Su I, Susan. I, I, I knew Susan. Martin. Yeah. Susan. Yeah, a lot of people Stronger. put Ivana Trump on there. And yes. she made the list, but yeah. way down low in the 50s. Susan and Aggie. Yeah, yeah I knew who, them both. Who was the yeah. scientist? It was an astronomer. I didn't even know his name is Martin something. He's like 90 something on the list, but Martin. there might have been other scientists on there. I just didn't catch Number 26 is Vin list. Scully. Isn't it Vince? Yeah, it's no, Vin. It's Vin. It's Vin. Vin Scully. Okay, here we go. When, when, they, when they say it because his last name begins with S, it does sound like Vince Stone. Oh, interesting. Okay, for all the marbles. Ready? All right, so we're going to start the lowest score. After 11 votes, our group failed to elect a speaker, so we cannot proceed by choosing a name. Or do we get a booby prize? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not in last place. You're not in last yeah, place. Yeah, whatever yet. you want, you're at your own home. You're <laughs> <laughs> I knew the speaker of my house. Seven. Ooh, we're not last. last place. We're not last. Wow. Yay, we're not last. Pat Paulson for house speaker. Five. Now you're in last. <laughs> See, well, yeah, tied. I was going to say, we will be in last place. La they're tied. It didn't. Oh. Your, thing, your thing didn't update. It did. What happened? Yeah. It did? That's it? Okay. Okay, oh. now I gotta go back because I hit refresh. So now I have to go way down here. And you guys have uh, all the scores from the past. Oh, slow down. I want to read them. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go. Come on. <laughs> I want to go to sleep me? tonight. <laughs> you thought it was serious. <laughs> okay, That's see it? Coast to break. Um, we had Phil? five. Phil Collins. Five. Phil Connors, not Phil oh, Collins. <laughs> Should we just stop right here? Five. Oh, no, I five. didn't hear you. Five. <laughs> I still can't hear you. <laughs> uh, okay, one was then. Hard. It doesn't matter. Five points. We the last round. That was a hard one. the last place. Mm. Yay. <laughs> Everybody get their eyes on there. We're the best. Third place. We are the best. <laughs> After 11 votes, our group failed to score the most points. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was good. That was Very great. good. That was good one. Good, good one. Um, good one there, Gail. That really brought the brought some people to their knees instead of the. We'd done by mono rules. We'd have had zeros and Oops. ones, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that would we would have been. I don't even remember hour. what mono rules are. 
<laughs> you don't, don't want to. Okay, next, yeah, next game we play mono rules. Oh, I don't have next week's, you guys. Hold on. You only play mono rules when mono's here. Aaron, Aaron, <laughs> Aaron you only, you, your team only gets a point if something you've said is said by no one else. <laughs> so boggle, so boggle rules. So everybody who said, yeah. who said Queen so Elizabeth, nobody gets one a point. point. Yeah. Unless I'm, you were the only team that said Queen Elizabeth. I'm, yeah. I'm curious. So, so. Meatloaf might have scored a point. We got I'm Meatloaf curious. too. Hmm? You got Co oh, here. You might be the only one who got I mean. I have a question. What does Rue, what did Rue think? Of her right. first game. I mean, so I mean, they were really hard categories, you know, that I have no interest in and no yeah. idea. But, <laughs> Changes but, every but week. The whole process was like, fun, you know? But, 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 but yeah, Troy, that's the know. that's the whole point of this. Troy is we get into the group and we just have a good time. Two of these, <laughs> yeah. two of the four cat, well, three since one of them I didn't participate in, but I said nothing really to to help it along. I didn't know. But you know, you sit there and you chat with the people you were in there with. So and laugh. It's, not, it's not about what you know, but about how much you enjoy the time yeah. with people. Yeah, Give the it. first word is social. Trivia is in the in the game somewhere. That was my first reaction to my first game, but I came back and after then you hit that category, go, Oh, this is it. This is me. This is mine. <laughs> yeah. 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 We I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Before, by the way. Finally, Baroque brass instruments. I'm gonna nail it. <laughs> My goal Great. is to make sure that at some time somebody on this, somebody who plays, will say, "This is my category." Yeah, I. This is this me for me. When 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 Caspian has a category, I know it's time for me to sit back and just listen. Right. At yes. some point, you'll be like when Cliff Clavin on Cheers was on Jeopardy. The categories were bar trivia, mothers and sons, and like, It doesn't really matter what category we choose, Alex. <laughs> I gotta watch that. I think I did. I can't remember. That's Cheers and, and Jeopardy. Is that what that? Yeah, Celebrity yeah. Jeopardy is the best. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was an episode I've of Cheers. I've never seen it, Clavin but I know the main on Jeopardy, line. And, he, and he screwed up in the end, and like. Bet the wrong amount and lost. Oh, yeah, he got every oh answer God. right. He, he Thanks for the spoiler lost. there, Carl. Yeah, we were just about to watch it. Now I'm not going to watch it. It's been like 40 kitchen. years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your limitation. I've never okay, seen the episode. I need, hello, Terry and Peggy are what I have next week. So I need, I'm looking. I've got my hands, Terry's hands up, but she's already volunteered. I'll do one. Faith's got one. All right, Faith. What, a week from now? Yeah. Yep. I'll do one. I haven't done one in a while. This, we've done 142 games. Where have you been? At, I haven't uh, done one in a while, I mean. 142 games. Kevin? I did a bonus the last time I did one, so I'll do a regular round. Okay, and I need a bonus. Oh, yeah, I'm writing it down. Looks like Alan's doing a bonus. Oh, did he say? I <laughs> <laughs> Great bass players of history. <laughs> oh no 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 no! We did DB. We did DB Cooper the other day. Um, that was a fun one. We've done yeah. so many wild categories. I'm telling you, we did I'm trying to come up with something new. I have a hard time of coming up with something new. We yeah, need someone to, to do little... the Yiddish part two. You... Oh, we did <laughs> Yiddish. We did Yiddish. Yeah. yeah, but we need a part two Yiddish. Oh, that we was so easy, though. Everybody got ten. Oh, no, I think that. we got the low-hanging fruit out of the way on that one. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I was because people know I play this game in my family. We got together for uh, Christmas Hanukkah get together, and I was given a book of trivia, which uh, I said, "Oh, this is fantastic! It's got so many different categories and whatever." <laughs> and then I flip through it, and randomly, the first thing I see is, "Let me read it to you." You would weigh more than twice as much on Jupiter as you would on Earth because it has a powerful magnetic field. <laughs> okay, this is bullshit. No. no. I will have to like triple check every frequent entry before I yeah. use it in the game here. Did I see Ben's hand go up for a bonus? Is that what you guys voted on? Yeah, Ben, Ben, Ben. ben. Like, I think Ben. ben. I thought Does I saw him volunteer. Does he have enough votes? If you don't have anyone to do a bonus, I could do a bonus. <laughs> Um, I, eh, I haven't done one in a while. I'll, I can throw a bonus together. Okay. I mean, yeah, I only got a week, yeah. but I, I'll try. Thank you. I can do it. If we could get a speaker. In a week. I haven't done a bonus just, before. So just I've done, done two people rounds, who died so. in 1922. Yes. That's what no, people do. who died in 2023. <laughs> 
going to be a very oh, short list. My round is going to be name the people that everyone think has died, but are actually still alive. <laughs> oh. I, I did a round like that, if you remember, like about yes. a year ago. Yes. Dead or alive. Right? Dead or alive. Aaron, what yeah, were you trying to tell round. me that before we've been rudely interrupted? I, I was going to say, I, I can start your list for the next week, not, not okay. this week coming up but the week after yeah, i can do, I can do one two weeks from now january you know 19th yeah i mean you can put me down yeah. for that again susan yeah i'll okay, Aaron I'll here for two weeks from now gail carl carl rob and aaron okay got those two all right so just we'll we'll all i'll squeak out a um a bonus out of one of you guys well anyway Thank you all for joining me. I have a little mini list of things I've got to watch now. Do you need your bonus and for next week? So let, let, me, then, let me oh. add something based on something you you wrote to me in 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 the um, on on Messenger, and that is if anybody did not already understand, the person who is going to help in the in the house is the parliamentarian. That is a real job. They have to be both a parliamentarian and a lawyer. But the parliamentary procedure that they use in Congress is not R-O-N-R, Robert's Rules of Order, which is for ordinary organizations. And the House and the Senate have different rules and different parliamentarians because it's all based on precedent. And we all watch it with intense interest to see the similarities and differences between people are buying into some of the things they did. And one of the things that my fellow parliamentarians and I discussed a lot was how bizarre it is that the way they have stu structured the rules, they can't uh, ask them to take the oath and can't call them actual members. They're still member elect until after they get a speaker because they can't vote because they haven't done the, the the um, all important oath because the whole point is that they're required to follow the oath after they take it. But interestingly, they're voting now. And but, in any but, other organization, you have to be a member to vote, right? But they're so not voting on legislation. Bizarre. The, yeah, the, yeah. Okay, because that was a question that I heard um, on a podcast, I think was from. Um, the New York Times, and they said that the that the reason that that's happening is because there is an exception in the Constitution for just this ex only one example, only one circumstance where they can vote before the um, sworn before in. they're sworn in, which is when they're it voting. Is the only example, but you're saying it's in the Constitution. I got to go look that up. I don't think it's in the Constitution. It's precedent. It's been over a hundred years where it hasn't made any difference. Right. But I, 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 asked, I asked this question earlier, and and not that it explains why they are able to vote, but somebody here, and I don't remember who, said, "Well, technically, none of them are members of Congress. This is an all new Congress being created. Right. Right. The, the the everyone has to get re sworn in. So there's nobody right. from from the point of are you a member of Congress? None of them are members. None of them are eligible to vote unless there's some kind of an exception written into some, oh, some rule somewhere. Yes. I think well, it's the, in the, house are, house. the problem is that these rules are only written. There is no book. And it. in the House and the yeah. Senate, they have different rules. And it's, in it's the house based rules. on precedent. It's based on the way the last rule was written until they change it. Yeah, I, and that's I, I, why this is an exception, but it is a bizarre exception. And there are several other rules that are very different for in in that in the House and the Senate from each other and from the way we do it in ordinary organizations. Parliamentarians well, I, spend an awful lot of time telling people, I know you saw it on on, on C SPAN, but it's not how we do it in our and But don't you think they're doing it? The reason they created it that way is to as an incentive to get the job done because otherwise they they wouldn't they'd never i mean before the civil war having um delays like this were fairly common you know so People don't you think that, that was the yeah. incentive to get them to make a decision and it's holding up right now they can't give constituent services they're not going to get a check if this goes on long enough 
So don't you think that's it? they created it in the rules as an incentive to get the task done? Well, that may be the, you may have the explanation, but it's still bizarre. It is bizarre. <laughs> okay, so but what I want to know is that if there's nobody in charge necessarily, <laughs> why did they remove all the mags in the um, to get in? There's people aren't going through a metal detector now. And that's, well, that's one is, of the rules that the Republicans want. Is to get and why the Republicans is Kevin, aren't in charge. Nobody's and in why charge. did Kevin move his well, stuff the into the speaker's in office? He shouldn't be in the speaker's office. That's right. horrible that he's moved stuff in there. But and, and, again, and, uh, Karen, that's, caught, that's based on history because it usually was so pro forma that for the last hundred years, the person who was expected to be the speaker would move in so that they could start right away. But he, he anticipated his... Yeah, Matt point. Gates was saying that, and that's I like sure kind of thought they were more popular than they actually are. They need a room to be able to meet in too, and a large room. And you but, to be able to by the way, it. you might find it just interesting. The personal story in two thousand and one, by the way, September September tenth of two thousand and one, uh, the parliamentarians have a biennial meeting, and we happen to be meeting in Washington D.C. And the national president of our organization arranged for us to get to go sit on the floor in the House chamber, not on the visitor gallery. We actually went in on the floor and had presentations on parliamentary procedure from the parliamentarian for the House and the parliamentarian from the Senate. Wow. And of course, we're the last group that will ever get to do that because the next day was September 10th, 2001, uh, 11, 2001, right? Uh, it was 9-11. Of course, nobody knew then that that was about to happen. But it was absolutely fascinating. Not even the second. And what was particularly interesting yeah. was when they explained, the parliamentarians explained some of the rules. And one of the rules, as far as I know, that is still there in the Senate is there is a very bizarre rule where under certain circumstances, the parliamentarian can make a decision. Parliamentarians do not make decisions. They advise the chair. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't hear the parliamentarian. The chair is the clerk until there's, until there's a speaker. And the parliamentarian advises the chair, but the way that rule has been enforced in the Senate, that gives the parliamentarian basically the power to declare war. And he said he didn't want that power. <laughs> and when he showed them that it was there, they said they better fix that. <laughs> he could tell them that. What I there is, know. A, there well, is a situation where in, in the house, there have been problems with people not getting along well. And what the parliamentarian in the house said is if they get really bad to each other, they have a, a piece that they hold and they put it in one place, if it's in session, in another place, if it's not in session. And what he did was when two of the, the representatives were getting rather violent with each other and being really discourteous to each other, he just went and picked it up and went and stood there holding it in front of them to remind them where they were. And they stopped. I don't think that would work today. Take it, take it to their butt. Well, I'm going to head to bed and I will come back next week and we can discuss how many votes have been taken by that time. <laughs> how many, and how many, more, how many more we think there will be. Well, if Kevin McCarthy Gail, is I have still squatting in that office, which is not here. Yeah. Go ahead, Janine. Gail, I had a Bye. question for you. So there's, there's this Bye. thing about uh, electing someone who's not even part of the yeah, and coming, is that has that ever happened? Is that for real? No, no, you know, it hasn't happened, happened, but it is for real. Because there's no restriction that says they have to be. But if that happened, then the person who was speaker would not be able to vote. You know, we also have somebody from who is a representative actually elected and a member, sort of, of the House from the District of Columbia, but she can't vote. Right. So if it was, if Trump became the speaker, he would not be able to vote, but he would share. And that so the parliamentarian one of the things parliamentarians do is parliamentarians are hired often to be the chair. And if you're not a member of the organization, you don't vote. But I was hired once by a, a dog club where some members of the board were suing other members of the board and they wanted an outside, totally neutral person to chair the meeting. 
So they hired me. And of course, I did not vote, but I ran the trial. Got it. So in 100 How'd years. How would it work out? Well, Don's the people who won thought it was fine. So in 100 years, <laughs> y'all, in 100 yes. years, somebody's going to look back at all these old videos. And they're going to say that group uh, didn't even have rules. See? And it's uh, just precedent. Anarchy. We've decided the rules based on tradition and yeah. group discussion, right? So, right? Somebody someday somewhere is going to look us up. Hi, people in the future, 100 years from now. Digital oh. archaeologists. They're going to be yeah. fascinated with us. The social dynamics and the... This is how we say hi to people <laughs> in our era. You say this, and this means hi. <laughs> Um, I, number one. I'd like to propose something You're to Gail one. about yeah, this old He's kidding, people of the future. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try. People of the future don't have any sarcasm. They don't understand. People of the future Ch -ch 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 will find this more insulting. <laughs> Boy, what are you saying? I can't hear you. The date is January 6th. Oh, it's January yep. 6th. Oh, my God. Up. Rue, yeah. Rue is trying desperately to say something. That's the one rule we really need is some sort of order about who gets to talk when. Yeah. Jill, this it's whole like thing about voting, voting for a speaker, my thought is that they're not voting for legislation. They're just like a group of people. You know, I mean, would they vote for going to lunch? Oh, let's have a break for lunch. I mean, that's not really a vote. If, yeah. you're, if you were doing parliamentary procedure, in this official, ordinary society, Robert's Rules of Order way, you can't even vote for lunch if you're not a member. Because one of the privileges of membership is the ability to vote. They are voting for adjournments. Yeah, they have to vote for no, they're, 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 right, right. they're voting. That's, what, that's my point. I, I, adjournment I, it, is the thing that's odd is that they don't become members before they do all this voting. They're voting Isn't the Speaker of the House third in line to be president? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that's what Donald Trump wants to do. He wants to get in there as Speaker of the House and then make sure the other two are dead. No. Or removed from office via impeachment. Yeah. No, he's not. Because as soon well, he as would the be third in line, removed, right? They're going to appoint so, somebody else in there. Nobody's going to. You so know, right now. So tonight, Mark, um, Mike Wolf was pointing out that because there is no one who's Speaker, that the, the next person in line is Senator Patty Murray of Washington yeah. State. Uh -huh. So as just kind of a, you know, kind of a, you know, it's not going to happen, but if- um, Yeah, sweetie. If we talk about this. it, it will. Yeah. If uh, Biden wanted to resign and Harris resigned, we'd have our first female president and it would be uh, Patty. Patty Murray. Well, well why wouldn't if, it be if, if Biden, Biden resigned, resigned, we would have our first female president It'd be common. Well, I love her, but I hope she's not our first female president. <laughs> Fair enough. You second you, Karen. Okay, so Roy Roy had hand up and then went down. You want to still say something? Roy Ru, Troy. I call Troy. It, Troy is Troy on Ru. here, but it's Ru. we already asked the question. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm done. Where were you right. at, Rob? Whenever we were asking the answering the question, got a mask on. I can't tell if they're talking. <laughs> they're talking. We heard. All right. We heard so it. I'm going to go and watch all the news and my things, and I've got probably five messages to answer. Bye. Finish up your training, Rue. Bye, everybody. Bye. Try Rue. Rue. Good night. Good night. Guys Bye, guys. Night. Hey, Deborah. I'll see you. Yes. Karen, Bye. you coming out on Saturday to El Gab? Yeah. Maybe late, not in the morning. It's at two. Oh, is it two? Before they started like nine in the morning and last. No, no, it's not. It's not skeptic camp. It's just a two-hour workshop and then we go eat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna workshop on Susan? I'm there. Critical think. I'd love to have you there, Karen. It's it's a critical thinking workshop I'm doing, and if it rolls out well, I have three of them. If it rolls out well, we're rolling out all over the place. We'll teach other people how to do it. It's supposed to be about either involving the community or your members and actually having conversations about, because I think a lot of people come to the meetups and stuff and they really don't have a lot of knowledge about, um, you know, not like logical fallacies and stuff like that. They, they don't really have any of that knowledge. They just know that they're skeptical or they're atheist or whatever their thing is. 
and they're sick and tired of it, but they don't really know how to talk to people. They don't really know how, how to answer questions. All that kind of stuff is just kind of like basic stuff, but we haven't had any real instruction on it. So CFI has discovered whenever they're doing, you know, talking to people and things that a lot of the groups are ready for more instructional kind of things. Cause yeah, social, definitely we got to do more social, but we also need some sort of like a, uh, not intellectual, not like reading a book, but we're going to read an article and then we're going to discuss that article and we're going to discuss how to have a conversation with somebody who has beliefs like these people. And we're using the Mick West article on hair dryers, hair dryers. So I thought that'd be a nice, simple one to start with. Everybody's supposed to read the article on hair dryers and UFO aliens. Where's Mick West's article on hair dryers? I didn't read, read that. Well, when you find, if you find my announcement saying, hey, we're having a, we're having an event, I have the article right in there, but it was on oh. Skeptical Inquirer. It was about UFOs and hair dryers and how they burn themselves, people burn themselves. And then a couple of days later, they notice the burn. It has a weird pattern on it. Oh, Some people think yeah. it's UFOs. I think I read that. So that's what we're going to talk about. So it's mostly how to have a conversation with people who believe weird things but in a way that's instructive and, and uh, you know, not, not ridiculing the person and making them think and all that stuff. So that, and I'm just putting this together. We'll see. And then the next week we're going to do Mandela effect do this down here. I want to, if it, if it, if it's successful, my group, the one I'm doing Saturday is the first ever doing this. So if it fails three in a row, then I, <laughs> then it's probably not going to get rolled out anywhere. So no pressure. <laughs> And I'm, and I'm oh, yeah. having it in a library so that we can have I hopefully need to strangers talk. come in. And I'm recording it. So I'm worried there's only be four people show up. <laughs> it's packed. <laughs> I'm going to bring my rooster so we have a fifth. But that's what we're doing. So oh. good night, all. Sweet night. dreams, Kevin. Good night. Good night, folks. Good night.